Well, um, here I am by myself. I thought I was going to have friends this evening. One of them is going to be on after a short while, but um, the other one stood me up. You know, it's a weekend. It's a, um, it's a Friday. Is it a Friday? No, it's a Saturday. I don't know what damn day it is, you guys. How is everybody? What's going on? What's new in your life? Hey, Joel Sachs. Can you guys hear me, by the way? Because I have this in and I have my mic going because I thought that I was going to be with people. Hey, Summer Savage. Can you guys hear me okay? Hey, Florence Southerd. Jessica West. Irene. Pamela. Bo. Now's not the time. Um, Marion, thank you. Uh, Susan Weimer, Re Renee Rainbow, Anna Banana. Thank you. Guys, so I bought this hat today. Um, thank you, Abigail. I was wearing this top. I went into one of my favorite stores in Kansas City to see one of my favorite friends. Her name is Pam, and I love her. She owns the store. You guys know how much I love Trini London, the influencer. She does her own makeup line. Is there something right here? I need. There we go. Um, she does her own... Thank you, Blakey. Um, hi, Dee Dee. She does her own makeup line. She's super bouncy. That's why I like Trini London. She treats her staff well. She's just a really cool lady. Lots of um, energy. Pam in Kansas City, who owns this store. Uh, thank you, Chow Yun Smut. Pam, um, this is the store. Well, that's her Instagram. Go over and follow her because she posted pictures with me today. And um, her store is amazing. And I'm going to show you a picture of Pam. So I bought this hat today from her. I bought this pink necklace. She has the most amazing jewelry. I love, look at these. These are real gemstones or something. I don't know. But I thought that was really pretty layered. It's simple, but kind of pops. And then I bought, she just got back from Paris and she had these heart rings and they're super pretty. And so I bought that too. And I took a picture with her and she was like, she's so cute. Look at Pam. She's tiny and she has the coolest store. Well, there's a better picture of her. She's really pretty lady. And she's so, yeah, Tommy gets migraines. Look at, we were looking at the jewelry and I was like, oh my God, Pam, you're so cute. Look at her fancy. Pam is so fancy. Look at her leather pants. Look at her leather pants and her crazy ruffly zip up jacket. Um, She's such a cool lady. So I love shopping in her store. Mods, the link doesn't work. So there's her store. I told Pam, I said, I will absolutely talk about you and your store. I've talked about Pam before. She's a true friend of mine. As a matter of fact, the reason I went in, she texted me the other day. And I, I have to say something. Pam truly is somebody I look up to. Like Pam truly is an icon to me in Kansas City. She travels all the time. She knows everybody. She is kind of a big deal in Kansas city. And, um, she's very high society. And she texted me out of the blue the other day and I was shocked. And she said, Reese, I really miss you. Um, why don't you come in and see me? And I was like, really? So I came in and every time I go shopping there, Pam looks at me and goes, you, she said at first time, congratulations on your YouTube channel. And she said, you really, I always knew you were going to be something someday. She's like, you are just so put together. She was like, I shop all over the world and you are so put together, Reese. And guys, that really coming from her, I'm like, I always reject it. And uh, thank you, Elena Rainerman. And today she goes, just accept it. And I said, I can't coming from you. That's huge. Pam is a big fashion icon. She's, she's very, very I'm telling you, the lady is somebody, something I would love to be. And she always says that to me. She's like, I'd love for you to be my buyer. She's like, you are like all your makeup, all your jewelry, you know, you always accessorize. And she was like, it's just stunning. And I was so like honored when somebody like that says that to me, I'm like, whoa, I just feel like this. I always go into this weird, like inadequacy mode when I'm about around beautiful, stunning you know, just put together people, I feel very inadequate around them. I get very, like, I get nervous. I know, Dee Dee, it was such, coming from her, she is very well known in Kansas City. Coming from her, I was like, 
Jeez. I mean, she is so kind. I've probably known her for 15 years, but um, thank you, Lisa. She's got such cool stuff in her store. So guys go over to Instagram. If you have an Instagram and you use it, um, because she asked me, she said, would your people come and support and follow me on Instagram? And I said, absolutely. I'm sure they would, you know, um, you have such cool stuff. So I like to follow her anyway for inspirational ideas. Cause they post cool stuff from her store and, um, it's a huge ring. This is small compared to a lot of my rings, but yeah. Um, and I loved this necklace and she just has really cool stuff. So yeah, well, I wouldn't be her buyer. We've talked about it before. I'm not good with numbers. Like she's very, I wouldn't want to work for Pam. She's very specific on what she needs and I can't really offer that. And, and it would be a really full-time gig and it's too much, but I love supporting her. I love shopping there. I love her. I love her jewelry. I always have. She picks the coolest stuff. Hey, Brian Lucas. So, um, yeah, a lot of people said that this hat is like uh, Lady Gaga vibes. I don't know, but I guess it's like an album. Oh, oh. Well, hi. Hi, Fancy. Do you want to wear your hat because mommy has a hat on? Oh, beautiful. Be oh, no. Okay. Little princess, little Chauncey, um, ask her for a subscriber discount. I don't know. I mean, we didn't really get into that, but I just told her that I would love to promote and support her tonight. And, um, Hey, Joe virus. And, uh, just really, uh, Oh, it's Brian Lucas's birthday. God, I even told you on Facebook and I'm sorry, Brian, I've been gone all day and it left me guys. It is Brian Lucas, our very own Brian Lucas, who's been with us since the first minute of this channel and a huge supporter. I always feel like Brian is my brother. He feels related to me. It's so weird. Brian, happy birthday, babe. We love you. Guys, everybody tell Brian happy birthday. He didn't really want to even tell everybody, but because, oh, it's Laura Fonts. Why am I missing out on birthdays today? It's also Laura Fonts and her daughter. Is your daughter's tomorrow? I've been gone all day. I apologize. Um, I had a ovarian cyst that ruptured this morning. Remember how we had that happen? Thank you, Ronnie. Remember how we had that happen a couple months ago? Um, I love Katie Fulton and it hurt so bad. Well, I had to like pump myself full of Advil and I laid in bed till noon today on a heating pad. And I was so depressed that I went out and bought this hat to try to make my ovary feel better. And I knew that I knew that I would find the right gift for my ovary. Um, oh, you're so cute. It's a baby. Who you will, baby? Um, so yeah, it was awful. It hurt so bad. So I thought I need to go out and I need to find something for my ovary. And um, I knew I would find the perfect gift. So I found the hat and immediately my ovary felt much better. Um, so yeah, that's what you have to do sometimes. You know, they're just uh it's a it's a good over it's a it's an ovarian um gift, just a gift of comfort and warmth. Um, and that's what happened. And um immediately I started to process the pain and she felt a little better and so did I. So yeah, yeah. Well, that's what you have to do sometimes, you know, when when your ovary is uh when your uterus in general is giving you uh the most hardest of hard times. Sometimes you have to go out and treat your ovaries. And that's what we did today. And we went and visited Pam. And uh, Pam is a real fun lady. She's a fun time gal. I don't know if you knew. She is a fun time gal. Uh, she's a cool gal. And uh, so, yeah, thank you so much, Jennifer Folsom. Guys, what are you doing tonight? Watching Tommy would explode your ovaries. That's probably what happened. Watching his yoga videos made my ovaries overreact. Mm. Hey, Sharon Spaghetti. I follow Trini London on Instagram um, and you, Reese. I love Trini London so much. And you should follow her. How many cysts do you have? I had one explode yesterday at a Mexican restaurant, but I, I worked through it. I kept getting more salsa and it seemed to help. And then I had one explode this morning. Are you chewing ice? I was, Joe. Guess what? I have three herniated discs. Great times. Lisa, that's terrible. Um, see if you can treat yourself, buy yourself a little something to help with the pain. Cindy B, welcome, girl. Ovary yoga. <laughs> oh, Katie Fulton, stop. Keep going. 
Uh, where is Tommy, by the way? I invited Tommy on. I invited him on an hour ago. I was at Whole Foods an hour ago. Now I'm home. I sent him a damn link. Everybody's blowing me off. Can they take out my ovaries? I'm sure they can, but I'm actually planning to keep them. I refer to those as prescription gifts. I was really popping Advil this morning. It was bad. I did that yesterday at the Mexican place. I took three. That's kind of unusual. Yeah, where is he? Does anybody know? He just texted me and said, are you live? Unbelievable. I mean, what? how much more clear do I have to be? I texted him. I sent him a link. I gave him a time. What kind of nonsense? Do you make your own enchiladas? I have. They're not terrible, but I prefer to go out and eat just because I also like the chips and salsa. Oh, good for you, Tina, on the last 20. Tina, on the last 20, I haven't seen you for a minute. Today is Kat ACDC fan's birthday, too. Why didn't she tell me? Tommy just said, I didn't get the memo. I'm not very bright. I have to agree with that right now. I kind of have to agree with that. What's going on? What I've texted him like four times. That was like 830. I'll get there as soon as possible. Oh, my God. What will we do? I don't know how to do a show by myself. Um, Hey, Roberta. Yeah, guys. Uh, can we get a better look at the necklaces? Which one do you want to see, babe? I kind of put a stack on today. So I've got this lapis one. I've got these pearls. I've got this new one that I bought tonight. Look, it's really pretty. I'll show you. Oh, okay. Isn't this pretty? I think she said these are sapphires. I love the light pink. Tommy doesn't seem to be in a great place right now. He's just had a headache. He's had one of his migraines. He's going to be okay. Yes, happy birthday to Kat, ACDC fan. This is the one I bought today from Pam's store. Isn't that pretty? Oh, and then this one I got at Lady Co., which they have right now. It's a tennis necklace. And I like this a lot. Yeah, a rose quartz. That's what it is. I'm sorry. The one I was going to get with sapphires. Um, but yeah, I think you're right, Blake. She said rose quartz. There was one I was really going back and forth between, and I got, ended up getting this one. This is a really pretty tennis necklace that I got at Lady Co. And I wear this a lot more than I thought I would. Joe Virus is marked safe from having a birthday today. Okay, Joe, thanks for letting us know. Yeah, I like this too. They're very delicate, she said. Thank you, Jam Jam. My interview on the um, Better Call Daddy podcast was wonderful. Thank you, babe. I really liked her. Um, can the mods put up Pam's name? Uh, mods, can you put up Pam's uh, Instagram, please, and the store? Her store is called Georgie, J-O-R-J-Y. I think that was after her dog that passed away. Thank you, Elizabeth. I liked this top so much last week. I took Huxley to H&M. He likes their sweatpants. I don't go to H&M, but every time I go, I'm like, I love it here. I, they had this in cream and a ballet baby pink like this. And I thought it was so unusual and it looked expensive. Like this just looked like a... I don't know. It just looked like a nicer top to me. And uh, so I bought both. Is Tommy's headache gone? Yes. Uh, Keila, I made you cry on the podcast. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you, guys. Uh, Joe got you a pink sapphire ring as a gift um, for your uterus as it was scooped out. That is so kind, Joe Virus. Thank you for getting her a gift for the uterus. That is really something. 
Thank you, Martha Slemmer. I love Martha Slemmer. H&M sometimes, I, again, I never go there, but I swear every time I go there, I'm like, why don't I come here? Like they have some cute stuff. Witchy Trista question, was the dad's response on Better Call Daddy live? Like, did you get to hear it? No. When he recorded or did they do it after? So I never met her dad. So the way she does it is she does the interview and then, um, thank you, Mary Grubbs. And then he watches it. And then when she does all the editing, that's when she puts his part in. So no, I never got to meet him, but I loved her dad. Yeah. The dad's response made me really cry too, Keila. I was really crying. Uh, Jeff and I were listening to it in the car driving home yesterday. And Jeff was, uh, I looked over at Jeff at the dad's response and Jeff was like, he was like trying not to cry. And then he just let it out. It was really sweet. Thank you, Don Gloves. Yeah, the dad was really cool. I don't know why. But I, he didn't look how I thought he was going to look, but then I fell in love. He was just adorable. But for whatever reason, whatever reason, I was thinking he was going to look older than that. I thought he was going to be like an old man. What breed of dog do you have? I have a standard poodle and a little Yorkie mix thing. Oh, really, Abigail? Oh, Blake, you don't, I mean, no rush on it, but it was good. It was a really good podcast. Thank you, Cinderella's Glass Slipper. The number on this lip, uh, in case somebody wants to know, the lip color on this is the Sephora Lip Stain number 55. Kim Wiseman, what show? It's a podcast that I did a couple weeks ago that just got released. Um, the mods can put it up probably. Here is Georgie. Here's Pam's store on Instagram if you guys want to go follow her. Um, she posts a lot of her cool jewelry and just things that they get in. And it's just supportive if you want to. Um, it's kind of you. Oh my God. I love seeing this. I, I've been hearing this a lot lately. You helped me start standing up for myself, Michelle. I love to hear that. And that means everything to me. Somebody, a lot of you guys have been, let me see. Is this it? Yes. Let me try to pull this up. A lot of you guys, I like standard poodles too. Thank you, Yvonne. So many of you have been reaching out to me to share just things that you're uh, experiencing. And this was really special. Can I read this to you guys? It made me think of what she just said. Your interview with Better Call Daddy was amazing. And she said, you, you may not fully recognize it, but because of your limited filter, you really do discuss topics or are willing to consider concepts that others either would be afraid to admit to just plain ignore as anything that exists in real life. And one of many blessings you bring to me and no doubt to so many others is the sense of not being alone connection, the absolute opposite of all I understand Scientology to be and mean you are healing. You are helping others heal, but in your own special individual and authentic way, I wonder if you really realize how powerful, how powerful, or how great an impact you have on other people across the world. If not today, I hope that one day will, you will get to truly feel the power that you have inside and radiates from you, just being yourself. The words thank you are not enough. You make me think, consider things, and heal, not to mention laugh and cry on a daily basis, sending you so much love. Is that so kind? I get those messages from you guys all the time. And I just want to say thank you. It never gets old and it inspires me so much. Thank you, Susan P. Because yeah, Yvonne, it inspires me so much because I don't know. It just makes me want to do this so much more every day and meet you guys in person every day. It just really gets me going. I just think it's okay, Lino. I'm glad you made it, babe. I answered your email today. Brittany, thank you. It just, it just really makes me so happy to know that there are people I see. I'm sitting here looking at myself. I'm looking at my background of my office here. I don't actually get to see you guys. So even though there's almost 500 people in here, it just is a number. I just see the number. Of course, I'm talking to you guys. So it's more than a number, right? Like I feel the connection, but I wish I could see you. So when you reach out to me with those private messages like that, 
and tell me like you've inspired this in me or I now, because of you watching your show, it makes me feel so complete and whole. And it only draws me more to that connection when I meet you in person, because then I get to put a face to it. I get to hug you. I get to see you. I get to sit down and talk to you. It makes such a difference. Clearwater really changed me. You guys, it really did because it just gives me so much hope. I mean, I love doing this, but the sad thing is, you know, again, I'm looking at myself. I can't see you guys. I can't touch you. I can't hug you. And so this is the best we can do until Tommy and I can start traveling like once a month and then it really will take off. Thank you, YouTube user. Do you wear hats at home often, D? Yes, I'm a big time hat girl. I love hats. I really love hats. All kinds of hats. Yes, Skyrider, that's right. You are 2024's Oprah. Wow, mainly Linda. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. Uh, yes, Martha Slemmer. She says Clearwater is fantastic for me too, girlfriend. She and I, that's a perfect example. We gave each other a huge hug. She sends me cards all the time. We got to walk together and be together in Clearwater. And it just, it is such a deep connection when you get to do that with the other person, especially because we know each other at this point. I'm just meeting you now. Tommy and I are going to do that and it will really make a difference. Speaking of really cute boyfriends. Hello. How are you? Oh, hello there. How you been? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love the hat. When did you get What's that? I bought it today from my friend Pam's store because it matched my shirt. Your friend Pam has a store or is the name of the place Pam's, your friend's Pam's store? No, she's a friend of mine that I've known for quite a while and she owns a really uh, posh store in Kansas City. Mm -hmm. And I bought a really pretty um, necklace. Look at how pretty the necklace is, Tommy. It's pink quartz or rose quartz. Nice. Uh -huh. Isn't that pretty? And I bought That's that beautiful. to match the hat. Yeah, I bought it to match the hat. And then I bought a ring that she went to Paris and got. That is a good size heart. And the reason for all of that is because I was having problems with my ovary and she was really misbehaving. Um, and so I thought, I'm, yeah, my, uh, my right ovary was really giving me trouble today. And I couldn't get out of bed. And I just thought, you know what? When your ovaries Jewelry. are acting up, Yes, it works every time when my ovaries or my uterus doesn't want to cooperate. I say, okay, girls, let's get out of bed. And we go down and we purchase a necklace and a hat and it works I get every that. time. Believe it yeah. or not, I get that. If you I ever really have do. a girlfriend, Tommy, if you ever decide to get a girlfriend, just to remember that. Uh, you know what? I've tried to put a collar around your neck. And she just will have none of it. Like she literally becomes a Satan cat. And, and it's funny because she refuses to scratch me. So it's really funny watching her freak out without the ability to actually like do anything about it. But Katie, I couldn't agree not. more with that. I just got a new, my new blingy watch. Oh, are you referring to one for you? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, we're talking about me. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. you're I think you're probably right. That is exactly what you need. Um, so what's There's going nobody on that can you? have enough of them. Uh nothing. I've been um uh, been doing a little work. Cosmic Christy, good to see you. Shopping mm -hmm. increases endorphins and endorphins help the pain. There you go. Sounds absolutely uh, also it's my cardio. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um well you're kind of uh Kind of quiet, aren't you? You're a little subdued. I'm I'm taking in the hat. <laughs> I'll be really honest with you. I'm taking in the hat. Is uh, it too much for you? I wear a lot of hats, Tom. Not, not at all. I dig the hat. But okay. on. I kind of feel naked is, is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I showed up and I probably should have brought a hat. You know what I mean? Hold on. Do you want to, do you want to go? Okay. Why do I look all shiny again? I just mattified, but do I look shiny to you guys? Do I have too much highlighter on? What did I miss? Are you crying? I feel like I have too much highlighter on. Yeah, that's better. Um, 
How do you feel now? now? Now I feel a little less underdressed. Okay. What do you think? Whatever gets you talking. Whatever gets you flirting, really. It's... Well, I'm feeling a little pimpy. The, uh, it's the hat. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. the, uh, mm -hmm. I was going to go with the Indiana Jones look, but because I'm wearing this shirt, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a little harder to pull off Indiana Jones with this shirt on. You know, if I was wearing leather, like I can rock this thing when I got leather I on. Kind of, I kind of like that more. I knew, I know, I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. I get that a lot. The, uh, yeah, I think... the Indiana Jones hat. Now, one quick question, because I did sign up and uh, forked over my debit card just for your channel. Um, maybe you could do. Uh... <laughs> I've Here never paid. <laughs> for a membership in my life on YouTube. You're the only one. And I want you to know, um, do you think maybe, first of all, when's your next uh, naked yoga video? Cause maybe you could do it in the hat. Uh, I could probably, I could be probably talked into that. Uh, the next mm -hmm. one I think is chair yoga. So it won't be, uh, uh it'll be a little oh. tougher to do naked. Chair more okay. than some chair yoga. So we like your little red shorts. <laughs> the, uh, I knew, you know what? I knew when I came on, I was going to get a, uh, there was going to be at least a, uh, a little of it. Um, not technically naked though. Yes. Not technically naked. Um, well, not for their video, but for mine, it was right. No, the, uh, the one that I sent the private, uh, the private link that I sent first. Yes. That is absolutely a thing. Um, <laughs> chair, chair yoga is absolutely a thing. And, it, and for people that can't do regular yoga, chair yoga is the bomb. You would be absolutely blown away at how much you can get out of yoga without getting out of the chair. And we're going to do it. So uh, I promise it will be up shortly. Uh, Pam just texted me, guys. Hang on. She did. Um, I do need spandex. You know what? I do. I need spandex. I, uh, and that's right. The just for the record, when I was about seven or eight years old, I had a massive crush on my uh, swim teacher. Right, my instructor on swim team. She went to Dartmouth College, and uh, she was blonde and just an amazing swimmer. And I thought she was like the Hi, sun rose and set uh, on her. But she always wore a sweatshirt that said "Glow, baby, glow." And I said one day, what's the deal with the um, glow baby glow thing? And she said that women do not um, sweat when they work out. They glow. Um, actually, <laughs> I sweat. Um, uh, Katie, a hundred percent, girl, a hundred percent. It really got me out of bed today. As soon as I saw the yoga video, I was like, ovaries, let's get up. If Tommy can do it, we can do it. Let's go buy a new hat. <laughs> Um, you've really inspired me with your video. Yeah, how I don't how know often that, are you going to put those out? Um, I'm well. What we got to do is uh, once the once we get through kind of the uh, the poses, the real yoga where we kind of go from one pose to the next, and we do it like an actual um, like a yoga. I would say that there there'll probably be fifteen or twenty of them before it's done. Um. Okay, so and like we'll get weekly, to some pretty advanced stuff. Absolutely, <clears throat> two or three times a week, and it'll go to the members, and then shortly after that, I'll release it to everybody else. I'm just giving it to the members first. I, I struggle because I'm soft and I can't restrict things. It just seems very unbodish. I, I'm not. I'm not good at this. <laughs> um, do you think you could send me one a little more often? You know what? I absolutely can do that. Uh, you got to get a little better with the link thing. We had some struggles today. I sent over the um, the uh, Reese version and there was a bit of a struggle, but we'll, we're, we're working it out. We're getting it done. Horses sweat, men perspire, and women glow. Well, there you go. See? You know, you don't Maybe have to doesn't. record it and send it. You can just, we can just do like a live thing. Yes. Well, no, I, I, I'm all over that. Uh, I'm I am willing to pay a higher price for a bigger membership. If you want, if you want me to pay <laughs> higher, I will. Don't um, start go on. that rumor. Uh, Answer questions. I, when I was a skier way, way back in the day, uh, there was a uh, coach that wanted people to us uh, to start doing yoga and we caught so much crap for it. 
because it was like, um, what do you call it? Uh, Jane Fonda was very popular at the time. And the uh, skiers used to like to give us crap for the freestyle skiers and, you know, say we're doing Jane Fonda and whatever. But I remember the, the person saying, you're going to later in life, you're going to be so happy that you're flexible. Like this will be a big deal. So I started actually when I was really, really young. But then I stopped doing it for a long time. And then when I got to uh, prison, I started again and started uh, doing courses in there because I could make about $30 a month as a yoga instructor. Big money. Big money. Big spender. I'll keep getting batteries and coffee. You betcha. Hey, you big betcha. spender. Uh, you ever try uh, Tai Chi? Uh, I think I smoked that once. Oh, no. I was going to say, I. I like my chais from Starbucks personally. What the heck is Tai well, Chi? Is that a food? Is that a drink? It is a martial art and a, uh, an exercise, but um, not one that I've uh, ever done. I've watched it. I'm fascinated by it. And it is wonderful. I've seen, I've seen people who really, really love it and really benefit from it. I have, however, um, not uh, done that. So I was trying to find mm -hmm. the kitty cam, but apparently it doesn't want to turn on. Which is always Do you a think that um, we maybe sometime if we're ever in person that we could practice yoga together? I would love that idea. I really would. I would love that idea. Mm -hmm. It's more exercise than martial art, but it's a good way to exercise. Thank you. I've never, I, I have never done it, but I've watched people do it. And it looks very much like kata. It's like the things that people do in there. Oh, thank um, you so much for the uh, lurker mode tax. I appreciate you adding on the 49 cent lurker fee. Thank you so much, Lino. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, cruise yoga. All right. Oh, there you go. I'd absolutely be all over that. Couples yoga is beautiful. If you've never seen couples yoga, it's actually very, very, very cool. I bet it is. Um, it is. Yeah. I bet it's yep, a really it good, time. Very, very cool. good time. Good mm times. -hmm. Good times. Mm -hmm. Since there's no cat cam, just real briefly. Because. Oh, that's so cute. She has such pretty eyes. I love her eyes. She's a beautiful kitty. She really is. She is. And so well behaved. Isn't she? No. No, not at all. This I know. This is the worst behaved cat in North America. You cannot imagine what an awful creature this is. I love her more than anything in the world, but she's on a schedule and she runs this joint like you would not believe. Um, Poor Am pops up, ready to go, tail wagging. Anita Card, yeah, just go to her website and you can look under, I think it's under lifestyle and then go to jewelry. And that's what I like to do too. I don't really do anything else with her store because it's, I just told her today, I was like, she goes, maybe you should just come and stream here. I said, yeah, yeah. And, and say this is my house because she has super high end taste with her artwork and stuff. I'd love to have it. But um, I just buy her jewelry and hats pretty much. Yeah, Anita. Um. I'm still trying to talk with my new teeth and it's just not the same. You do not sound any different with your new teeth than you did with your old teeth. It is in your dome. Back me up on this. Does anyone think Ree sounds different with her new teeth than she did with her old teeth? Eh? I know there's a difference because it's harder to talk. I have to push. Well, no. Oh, I believe that. I believe it's more difficult to talk. I do. Because anytime they mess with your grill, you like, if you ever get like a chip tooth or something bad that happens on the inside. And you're like, uh, right. Mm -hmm. Quit trying to click on stuff. I'll do it for you. I'll be click. tribute to both. See it. it was going, it was Tommy going named too fast. Me? I did actually, because <laughs> I misread the name. And, and then I was like, you know what? I think that's a better name. Venus blue jeans sounded better than Venus blue gen. So, and then I looked Thank back you. two you seconds were? later and it was different. And I was like, you know how I think I'm losing it anyway. I was like, I could have sworn that said something different. Um, yeah, snow have, white teeth, right? I do have really super white horse teeth now. I mean, and, if you're going to have right, horse teeth, at least they're super white. Are they having so, the same time? Okay. Saves a lot of time. Saves a lot of time. You're looking pretty cute tonight. Reese, you don't sound different, and they are really sexy looking. Who said that? I just did. Oh. Thank you so much. And then someone else uh, did too. I can't remember who, who said it. But Tommy, I if you ever it, see me in person, you won't feel that I've way. I've seen you in person. At, you're not with my new teeth. Let's work that out. Uh, fancy hat Let's tags. get together. I Jen, thank let's, you. Let's get together. I want to check out your... Uh... 
<laughs> I do. I do like the uh, the idea of me doing me. <laughs> What is it? Don't click on it. What are you laughing at? Me doing my downward dog on the uh, on the cruise with my um, my Indiana Jones hat on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that doesn't get you on the yes, cruise. Shelby, There's Russ. Thank you, Will Huber. Um, hey, Russ. Um, what? Uh, yeah. When are we going to get together? When do you want to? When should we do something? I would like to actually go to a city with you well, we're not waiting we're not waiting until uh until september are we that wouldn't make any sense i i have a couple of places that i'm really leaning toward but i'll uh i'm gonna text you no we need to put this together and put it together soon we really do because i'll tell you something i'm not joking right um it recharges your batteries when you do a lot of stuff online and you're not actually uh working with people that you're talking to it's a completely different animal and when you meet people in in person and there really is like, even when, you know, we were at the pepper festival and that, that when you start to South Carolina is waiting. Oh, what do you think about South Carolina? I want to go there. That's why I clicked on it. I love South Carolina. I kind of want to move there. I love Charleston, but I have to be honest. I also loved Savannah, Georgia. Thank you. Fancy Nancy. Oh, Angel. Savannah, Georgia. I could live in Savannah, Georgia in a heartbeat. Seriously. Love yeah. Love that city. Love so do I. That city. Oh, Barbara. And bless you. Just for the record, I didn't say that first. Um, no, I like. Yeah, yeah. Savannah's a, a amazing, amazing city. What? What is Red the? Uh, there was a great I hope you're feeling better. book. There's a great book set in that. I think they made a movie out of it, and it's set in. Uh, I love you, Katie. Seventh son. Uh, this is your friend, right? Midnight and the Midnight in the Garden uh, of Good and Evil. Thank you, my friend, for that right. sweet. Uh, please get us get a hose to spray us down. What were you saying there, Tommy? <laughs> I love was it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who's getting a hose to spray us down? Your friend. <laughs> ah. We might need uh, to be cooled yeah. off a little bit. I appreciate the garden, that. The Garden of Good and Evil. Uh, yeah. Midnight. The, the, I don't remember if I ever saw the movie, but the book is fantastic, and it, I'm 100 percent sure it's set in Savannah, Georgia. Savannah's. Um, did they film the movie in Savannah? Good, 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 good. Um, Tommy, I would, I would like to go to Savannah um, to live. Yeah, I could do that. Like, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't have a problem with. That. I love that. But you want to hear something odd? Um, I do. Just really strange. Right before mm -hmm. uh, we went live today, and I do mean right before we went live today. I was talking to somebody who said to me, um, you should probably get ready to travel because I need you to go somewhere. And I said, really, where do we need to go? And you know what they said? I swear to you. Uh, take a guess. Come on, take a guess. I don't know. Uh, what do you want? South. South Carolina. You Carolina. just clicked on it. Yeah, You're kidding. Literally. No, I swear to you on all the Like, Two minutes before I went live, somebody was trying to talk me into going there. So I think that's odd. That is odd. I Folly Beach. Yeah, I like Folly Beach. Honestly, I like Isle of Palm. Yes, I do. Worcester, yes, I Worcester do. Massachusetts. I got friends in Worcester. Um, hold up. John? Sorry. I like saying Worcester. When uh when can we what do you want to do? Because I would like to do something, honestly, in like the next few weeks, like the next month or six weeks or something. It would be fun. To actually schedule something. Okay. I've been sitting around waiting on you. Uh, so this is a Tommy thing. It's always a Tommy thing. <laughs> I, don't know that, I don't know if you were saying that in a good way or a bad way. I'm gonna, now all think? night I'm going to sit and go like this. Well, I was smirking because I can't tell whether it was a... Uh, My eyebrows uh, were so, dancing. Oh, I saw. Yeah, but I saw... Did you do the eyebrows the first time or only the second? Every time, 60% of the time. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cat, I didn't know it was your birthday and I love you. We have three birthdays today. Laura font, Brian Lucas and cat ACDC fan. And I met Laura font and cat ACDC fan on the same day in Seattle. How wild is that? Wow. What are the odds of that? Seriously. But you know something? I guarantee you there are more than just that. Of course there are. What are you trying Jeremiah to do? Jeremiah Long says now? mud season, Vermont, beautiful time. Uh, you know what? My family may have a place in Vermont. 
Um, we may have a fam we may have a family place in uh, in Vermont. We've had it for uh, generations and generations. It's my Vermont's one of my favorite places on planet Earth. I have never it been is there. Untainted. There are no four lane highways. There are no billboards. There's no pollution. There are no industry. There are no jobs. It's a hell of a place, though. You'd like it. It's beautiful. Um, you would think so. V bombs <laughs> are are you? <laughs> yes, just pretty much, pretty much on YouTube. Yes, definitely. Um, the uh, the what, migraine, you know what? Let your heart be migraine. your guide. Let your yeah, heart let be your, your guide. <laughs> Um, um, uh, no, no, uh, sadly at this point, I, it's not that I haven't thrown myself viciously at her, but um, let's put it this is, way though. Uh, Tommy is taken. She has rebuffed at me at every, time. uh, she has rebuffed me at every turn, but it's not the, that the I have answer not made is an effort yes viciously. and no, yes and no. <laughs> I would say yes and no. Uh, but Tommy actually is taken. So either yeah, way, let your heart be your guide on that, on the answer to that. Um, yeah, so I, I would not for to... lack of effort on my, part, but... Go ahead. I put now the for the too. record, for the record, um, if I were to have a, uh, I have a YouTube, uh, girlfriend and wife, it would most assuredly be, uh, be Reese. So there you go. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get a little weird be, about it. I get there would be no, there it. would definitely be no other. But uh, yeah, he's taken. As, Sorry, Denise. Yes. You might as um, well just normally draw. I would show you. Normally I would show you her because she is absolutely beautiful. But she uh, she took off about three minutes ago. Might as well draw a line through his name rather than under it because he is not. Um, what an interesting way to put that. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. May as well draw. Um, yeah, so I am being serious about this, though. I really would like to dip our toes, test the waters a little bit. Let's see what this is like. Now, I've traveled to other cities. Uh huh. Thank you, Simone. Um, hearts are breaking everywhere, Shelly. They are, and it was bound to happen. I'm so sorry, but um, it's done. It's a done. Um, I we had a, such a good time in Clearwater, Tommy, and I would we like to do have that a again. Ball sometime. in Clearwater, that was so much fun. The you know what the only thing that sucked about Clearwater was the the uh, it would have been better if we had had a slightly uh, elongated timetable. You know what I mean? Like if if we had planned to go there and that had been the design, but you were going there and you were doing something with Aaron and I was doing something. You know what I mean? Like it was it was very haphazardly put together. We had a wicked good time, but. I think if we planned it better, you know what I mean? We could have had so many more people there. We could have invited a lot of people there. But the clear water hands, that's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. The, uh, remember? Yes. I absolutely remember. Um we should. We um we and we would have made that happen had we known. I mean, it wasn't planned, so we didn't know, unfortunately. But yeah. I think if we were to actually put it out there. Um, that we are doing that. I think it would make a difference. A yeah. bunch of people. Okay. Come to Tucson. Shelly Kelly. I thought about that. Maybe I go, maybe that's the first place we go. Maybe, um, you know, when I was in Seattle, I was, went to dinner with one of Jeff's, uh, you know, pals. This and dude was like super loaded. Hmm? Yeah. Clear water hands and clear water feet. And he said, this dude has a house, this dude, um, this dude was loaded. He was one of the original creators of Microsoft Excel that I went to dinner with. He retired at like 36. He had a house. He said he has houses everywhere, but he said he has a house in um, Scottsdale. And he said, that's a really nice area. Scottsdale's off the hook. It's gorgeous. Do I need to get a house there? Uh, yeah, you'd love it. You would absolutely love Scottsdale. Scottsdale's gorgeous. And you should come here. You know what you could do? You could come here and have a, uh, a Tommy Scoville burger. I don't eat. Go, go, go down and have a. You would love it. I have the greatest burger in the meat. entire world. Need it. Oh, you could make Can't. an exception. Oh, I can't. Money for um, Wait, to see. What was that, Tommy? You want to say that one more time? What? What? What did I say? So fast, I barely got it. <laughs> Hold on. Will he make that burger into a veggie burger? I'm guarantee I can make that happen. Maybe. Okay, maybe well, we get the. Uh, maybe we get the Reese burger in there. 
can we get him to do a veggie uh, uh, version of it? Mm, like a house-made veggie patty? None of this like fake frozen crap. Oh, I don't that think they you know in. who this cat is. Like nothing he does is uh, everything. I don't know this cat. Is, You're right. I don't know this cat at all. Yeah. He's, he's really, 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 by the way, you ducked the question earlier that I'm a little butthurt about. You have the I hats you, for Arizona. I think you saw it. I think you saw it. I think you read it and you went, no, nope, I'm ducking this one. Okay. Well, somebody you know asked, what? You're making Tommy, it awfully think, presumptuous. It is. But somebody asked Tommy, do you think Reese would have made a good girlfriend? I did not see that. Who said Shelly it? Shelly Kelly says, I saw veggie burgers on the menu. I stand corrected. Because Shelly Perfect. Kelly was there with me. Oh my God, um, I would totally That was the then. question. And the question was asked by, hold on, let me see. Uh, I'll tell you who it is. Then, but it, Oh, hey, what are you doing? Are you touching things? No. Luann, I do have a lot of hats and I have caftans for Arizona. I have the perfect. Why are you? What are you doing? You're acting like a weirdo. Um, Kelly well, B, do you my, eat no meat at all? I started doing crazy stuff without me touching it. Well, I'm not in your the room over there. I'm in Kansas City. Uh, I do <laughs> eat some meat. It's rare though, Kelly. Like sometimes That's... I'll eat a steak if it's like a nice steak, like a high end steak. Um, and veggie burgers and veggie hot dogs, I love, but they have to be a certain kind. Yeah, I have the caftans and the hats for Arizona. I, I could totally live in Arizona. I could totally. I have the wardrobe for Arizona. I promise you. What is going on over there? Did you what find you who said it? No, I didn't find who said it. Oh, yeah, it was Jehovah's Witness Apostate. That's who said it. But he said it a long Jen, time. Jen, Jen. Hey, Mods, can you put up the uh, link for Jen Uffer Grace? Not Jennifer, Jen Uffer. She wants to know where the best caftans are. Katie Fulton and I have an answer for you. Um, so what was the answer to the, what was the question again? Would Reese have made a good girlfriend as in like the past tense? Like I died. No, like if, if it was, the question was, do I think you could have made a, uh, a good girlfriend was the question. I believe unless I'm misquoting that, but it was pretty damn close to it. If that's what it was. I missed it. So what's your answer? And it better be the right one or your ass is grass. Scoville. She would have made a dynamite girlfriend. What is this would have I'm, shit? Why are we talking about me like we're at my funeral? <laughs> he would. She would make an absolutely perfect. How would that be? Was that better? I Do you really better. feel that way though? Because absolutely. here's the thing, Tommy. Here's the thing, and and we really need to get down to brass tactics here. <laughs> All right. I'm being serious. You know. Reese would be the best girlfriend. Thank you so much. But to be honest, Tommy doesn't know me that well. And, you know, I think there's a lot of things, Tommy, that would bum you out. Really? Yeah. Let's do a wow. wedding before the funeral, please. Uh, agreed. Is that the one and only? Are you, I am honored. You've never come onto my channel, Spanx. I love you. I what think a he sweet looks a little, lot. What a I baby he smurf. A He's a little baby yeah. Smurf. He's a little sweetheart supporter, isn't he? I love there, Spanx. There is a lot of truth to that. I've been trying um, to trade him this hat for a, a gray one for a long time, but he doesn't want to come off the gray one. I really like it. He wants to know, can we wear hats at the wedding? Absolutely. I am not preemptively giving her eulogy. Come on now. I was what I was not doing was being presumptuous. You know that Reese um, is that the best be girlfriend. Willing. Right. No question. Um, Spanx, now, absolutely. I've always wanted, I've always said, bring back hats. So when the wedding does occur, wear a hat, please. I mean, you've got great hair, Spanx. I hate to cover that up, but we'll style it just right. And I'll help you with it for sure. Cause that's my good luck right Kristen, alley. with your resident tiny human. Uh, have you ever seen Monty Python's the meaning of life? Because no, but Blake. End, at the very end, they have a board meeting where they sit down and all these people that they have, they have paid to go out and find out what is the meaning of life. They go on for about three minutes. About, Thank you, Spanky. You know, about how it's impossible to know whether or not there's an afterlife. However, blah, 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 blah. And then they get to the very end and the guy goes, and men aren't wearing enough hats. Mm -hmm. And the board people kind of look around and go like this. And the guy goes, fascinating. About that hat stuff, right? Like the rest of it was oh. obvious. Very, very funny movie. I saw some sexy dudes in hats in Seattle, and I don't know why. And this every one of them. This apostate is wise. I'm just saying. Uh, um, every one of them, I said, sir, 
bring back the hat. Good for you. Uh, Blake, we're proud of you. I'm really happy for you that that bartender said that. And I would make a great girlfriend. I, you know, I think I'm probably going to be somebody's permanent girlfriend. I don't know that I'm wife status again. You don't think I don't so, know. Huh? I don't know. I just don't know. I, um, I'm a little scared to be honest, as much as I talk about it, I'm a little frightened. I don't want to, uh, well, I get that. Yeah. What is this? Oh, would Tommy would Tom, Oh, you skipped right to the husband. We're not even talking about boyfriends now. We're just talking about the yeah, permanent resident. No. Um, I would make a great one. you would. Okay. Tommy What's answered that? it for me. So he's that confident. Uh, do you think that Tommy? Look, you know what? Not for nothing. I was a fantastic husband twice. I really was like, it, I mean, until I wasn't, but when I, I loved being a husband. I really did. I dug it. I am. I am one of those people. I, uh, I enjoyed that. It just didn't work out, but um, I I was not a person that prefers uh, being single. That's the uh, you know the long term relationship I have uh, undertaken with uh, my current girl. Speak mm -hmm. of the devil, and she shows up on cue. Do you see that? That's a professional. Seriously, yeah, she does. This is why yeah, you can't very, do more than two shows a day. Yeah, she's a bro. Where are you um, going? Where are you I, going? Go uh, back. Sorry. Um. You know, I just think there's a lot, Tommy, that would get really on your nerves quickly. Um, Throw out a couple. I hate those hypotheticals. Come on, toss one out. What's gonna What's gonna grind my gears? Well, I'm kind of whiny in real life. Does your jaw make a really odd popping sound when you eat? It sure doesn't. If it did, I'd be getting Good. that fixed right away. Good. I dated a girl whose jaw um, made this unbelievable sound when she would eat. And I'm superficial as all get out. You know what I mean? So she was kind of cool. But within a few minutes, I was like, this isn't going to work. Then there was another girl who I did who every 45 seconds adjusted her hair in the front. And the crazy thing is I dated her for about four months. Right. Honestly, never noticed Do you it. you eat in bed? Who the hell eats in bed? That's disgusting. Tommy, That's do you? Eat in bed? Yeah. I have an excellent idea. Let's change the subject. I do not uh, eat in bed, with the exception of Altoids. I mean, I will, uh, I will sn snack on like. I've snacking. heard that you also you will snack on cotton candy, because that doesn't <laughs> yes. really well, fall I'll, and make. I will. That doesn't make a mess. Candy. I will eat cotton candy anywhere, as a as a rule of thumb. I will eat cotton candy anywhere. Okay. Big fan. Big fan. Um. Reese, you just interrupted him. I interrupt people all the time, Starfish. I don't know what to tell you. Mods, it is. She just texted me and said it's at Shop Georgie. Is that the Instagram link we've been using? I don't know. Let's try it again because I do want to throw it out there for. Her. Um, how are you on uh, cleanliness? How am I? Do you, you mean do I clean myself? Mm -hmm. Like your stuff, mm -hmm. your surroundings. Oh my junk. Um, well, I mean. Just by nature of the fact that I'm a dude, it's usually the first thing that gets washed when you get in the shower. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's usually the first place you go. It's a, mm -hmm. one of those things. Um, I'd like to think I'm, I'm a fairly uh, clean individual, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess, um, I don't know. I guess that's one of those things that you don't spend a whole lot of time thinking about until, you know, I don't know. I'd be more um, than happy to let you check it out. Okay. And um, what was I going to say? <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. It was a serious question. Well, give me a second. You're pressuring I'm me. Not, I'm not in any hurry at all. I was just reading some of the comments. Oh, I know. I know. I know. No, no. I have to hurry up and say it or it'll go <laughs> away again. Okay, go. Um. You know, I was saying this last night on my live, actually, I was talking about you, Tommy, it scares me a little bit because we, I've never met a, someone of the opposite sex who's so similar. I was telling everybody, and we've talked about this, you and I, like I have taken a stroll through your mind. Like I, you've said, I, we've had some deep conversations. We have, we've had some long talks, right? Uh -huh. What are you laughing about? Okay. Nothing. It's okay I, to say I, it. No, I, know, right? I, I think I know where this is going, and I find that 
No, I think I know where this is going and I find it funny. Okay. Well, I don't think you know where it's going because it's actually, I don't either. So there's no way you know. Okay. But here's the thing. Okay. Two things, actually. We're very similar. Now, somebody said last night, people say opposites attract, but this people who are the same actually stay together. I don't know if that's true. It could have just come out of a fortune cookie. But we are very similar. Like, we're extremely sensitive. He, guys, we're more sensitive than I think you realize, Tommy and I. Um, like, we are sensitive little, no, crabs? I think so. I know. I think that there's a lot to be said for that. There is. Yeah, and there um, is. what do you think about that? We're, we're kind of similar. But here's the other thing that's really important to me since we're, since we're talking about it. I'm serious about this. Are Sorry, you listening? Yes, I'm listening. It was okay. a cat foot. I couldn't. It's a toe bean. No, this is just a hypothetical conversation, Starfish. <laughs> with the opposite sex. I also, you, cancer signs are homebodies. They tend to be. True. I am a homebody. Yeah. I am a homebody through and through. However, I like to go out sometimes. I like to go on dates. I just was saying this t today. I was riding in the car with Jeff going to visit Pam. And I said, do you realize like you didn't get me a Christmas gift? You didn't get me a Valentine's Day gift. You didn't like we like it. it I, this sounds super shallow, guys. And I'm going to probably lose seriously some subscribers or I'm going to get some bad comments about this. Call me shallow. But as a female, I was just having this conversation with my mom. My mom was like, I've never put gas in my car. She was like, my husband pays for everything and I have my own money. She was like, but what's the point of having a husband? <laughs> I was like, oh, mom, I feel that way. Pam DeCapo. Oh my God, you guys. That's the store owner. Pam, Pam, everybody say hi to Pam. This is wild. Guys, Hello, Pam. you guys, that's sexy Pam. I was showing her picture earlier. Actually, let's get one of her face. It's a little cuter. There we go. You can see her. That's Pam. That's her store. Oh, Everybody say yeah. hi to Pam. She's so cute. She's oh, tiny gosh. too. Just a little Polly Pocket. <laughs> I've almost seen her cooter. She has the sexiest underwear you've ever seen. The woman is, she's a goddess. I've never worshipped a woman more than Pam. I'm not kidding. Like she is so hot. I'm I love kind women. of attracted to her. I love mm -hmm. women. I, I love women. Yeah, that's Pam just you know, is... guys. In in my entire life, I've never seen a conversation, you know, or guy was anything like remotely like that. It's my friend Todd, good dude. Almost saw his dick. <laughs> like just not a conversation a guy would have. I just love that. I think you guys. Oh, are so much Pam better. is hot it's though. So Pam is something fun. special. Pam she is something a I've beautiful woman. I saw that. Always before. wanted to be. She's someone I've always wanted to be and just aspire to be. Class, pure class, Tommy. So real quick, I'm being serious here. Uh huh. There are certain things. I love you. Uh, love you, girl. We ladies need to stick together. That's right. And uh, support each other's cooters and all that. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. What was I saying? There is a certain, oh, let me go back to what I was saying. So I said that to Jeff. It actually gets to me. Okay, I feel like you're not listening again. It's I'm because I'm trailing off. Every sing no, I'm, I'm not making sense because there's too many thoughts going through. But what I'm trying to say is, I so love you, Pam. What I'm trying to say is there's a certain like neediness to me and I don't, that would get on your nerves. I think I, I pay attention to that stuff. It's not because I can't buy my own gifts. I buy my own gifts all the time. I've never had a man buy me gifts as a matter of fact. And I, so much so that I had to point that out to Jeff and he was like, well, I'm sorry. And I was like, well, I am too, because it's not about the gift. It's about the fact that like, as a cancer sign, I take it very emotionally. I attach an emotion to that gift. I don't forget it. I like to feel loved in that way. No. no so then I yeah, also gonna... like to go on dates and those things mean a lot to me. So like today when I went to Pam's store and I bought all that stuff, I bought it for myself. And I think I told you this the other day. I've never had guys buy me things. When I want something, I buy it. That's just the way it is. I just buy it for myself. I don't wait around. But my mom kind of had a point today. She was like, I've got plenty of my own money, but my husband buys my stuff. He pays for stuff. And she was like, well, otherwise, why have a what's the point of a husband? May I? 
because yes, he thinks may. thou doth protest too much. Listen, Thank it you doesn't asking. it doesn't matter a lick about being needy or any of that. And I'm not trying to bum out any dudes or, or wreck any marriages, but here's how it goes. You're supposed to get your significant other a Christmas, a birthday, an anniversary, all of those gifts, right? That's supposed Flag to Flag Day, Christmas. National Pancake Day. Um, I might skip National Pancake Day and Flag Day, but I'm going to hit most of the big ones, right? I'm definitely going to hit all of all of the big ones. And I'll tell you what, if you say, well, enjoyable. that's great if you're rich. You know what? If you're not rich, tell you what, for real, just say to your significant other, we're not, we don't have money to do this. So we'll get a magazine, right? Go cut out what you, if, you, if money was no object, go cut out what you'd buy for me. Wrap that puppy up. And when our ship comes in in 15 years, we'll go get out that shoebox, right? And we'll go drive into town and we'll blow 200 grand on whatever the hell we gave each other over the last four or five years. But you can still, you know, make a very big deal over each other without spending a dollar, you know? And it's jacked up. I'll be honest. I'm not making friends with your husband, I'm sure, but that's just messed up. And the fact that you haven't, I mean, this is, this is more of an indication of maybe you're, um, maybe it's, uh, maybe, maybe you need a, a younger dude. <laughs> I don't know. I would have thought an older dude would have been uh, chivalrous, but um, it seems to me that uh, I don't know. That's really messed up. I've never been with anybody to buy buy things for on every holiday. Like that's just I I don't and think that's needy, and, I, and I think it should be expected. What do you think of that? I think it should yeah, be. Yeah, but Tommy, here's the thing. It's not even about the gift for me. Had he gone and gotten like a really cute card and wrote something nice, yeah. that would have been it. That would have done it for sure. me. It's not the stuff because here's the thing. I go buy my stuff. I go buy my stuff. I don't have a problem doing that. It's not like I'm, I'm hurting for things. Okay. If I see it, I get it. But I, I think, yeah, it's, it's the thought behind it. So had he, had he gone and picked out a card and written a note in there? I don't know, but that's just one thing. That's just one thing that I think might get on your nerves. And the fact that I'm incredibly needy. You know, we've, you know, this Tommy laugh, but you know, this better than anybody, because you've done some serious interviews on me lately. You know, the whole past now at this point, you, you yeah. know, a lot and I know and see where it stems from at this point, I'm trying to fill it. And I constantly am very needy when it comes to men that gets super annoying. I know that Jeff finds this very What's this, Spanx? He's so cute. I love Spanx so much. He's adorable. I think my pops would probably be. What does that mean? Oh, Thanks like on a like a you on holidays and things like that. Yeah, right. That's know. because your pops is so cute, Spanx. I can't hardly stand it. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's it's a problem though. It honestly is. It's um. It's a problem that I know it really pisses Jeff off because I will, I will get super needy and I will get that. Like, do you still like me? Are you into me? Am I too much for you? Am I not enough for you? I get weird Already and it's done. my own insecurities. There Jeez. you go. There you go. Seriously. There you go. I was hoping maybe if you would trail into that at some point, this is about, this is about, uh, this is about the fact that Honestly, it gets back to things that we've talked about on every interview that we've done. The fact that you think it's needy to maybe think a Christmas gift might be, you know, in order for somebody that said, I do, says a lot about um, things that have been happened to you in the past with guys, because you should expect the gift. I'm sorry. Everybody should expect something from their significant other, something that just says you're the most important person in my life. And if that's just something that you write down on a piece of paper, then you do it. I so, agree. And I'm not, yeah. So but that doesn't you, make you, but that doesn't make certain, you needy. That doesn't make you needy. Well, it kind of does. It but do you think after No, certain... no, it really doesn't. It doesn't. If you said, you know, he got me a, uh, he got me a tennis bracelet. You know, my neighbor's husband got him a Mercedes Benz. Okay. That's, that's needy. That's disgusting. But to, to expect a card or something like that, that's not needy. That's not needy. You're you're uh, you're coming down on yourself on this, and this isn't about you. I promise you, this one's not about you. This is about a bunch of losers, honestly. But sorry, except the current company. I meant every other guy. He's working on it apparently. Um, boats and hoes, boats and hoes. Good reference. I'm sorry, that's fine. Uh, I feel like none of just, that came out right, but maybe I'll try again another time. No, I think I understand exactly what you're trying to say, Reese. But the 
I understand what you're saying. And we really are very similar in a lot of ways. And what you're thinking is that it would cause, um, you know, that that would be an issue. And one of the reasons that you think that is because since we've been about four, we've heard this whole opposite attracts thing. In fact, um, it was a hit in the 80s. What was the chick's name? Um, oh, I can't believe I can't. This is, this is my... Uh, my cognitive decline, but I cannot think of the, uh, there was an artist who had a hit by that song. Someone's going to do it for us. I love that chat. Brian Lucas, by the way. I missed it. But I don't think that that's, uh, the, the needy thing is not something that would grind my gears. Honestly, I don't. Uh, I don't think that that would have been a problem. Uh, Paul Abdul, thank you so much. It was Paul Abdul that sang that. And people tend to believe that crap. I'll tell you what, I've married two opposites. It didn't work out very well. I, I went out with with two uh, people uh, that honestly, you want to talk about that opposites? was it. That's what somebody uh, said yesterday, baby angel. I I have never heard that. Yes, you're right, though. It was with MC Scat Cat. Uh, I've never uh, heard that exact phrase, but I've heard the opposites attract part, part um, but it doesn't seem to uh, to work. It may bring you together, but it certainly doesn't keep you together because it hasn't worked out. But that's that. No, I've, I have you ever have, have ever, you you're older than me and you've you've gotten down way more than I have. But have you ever um, known somebody as similar? Like we truly we guys, you may not see it so much on YouTube, but just I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Tell me. But like since I've started really talking to you, I'm like. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Like we're really similar. I think it's a cancer sign thing. I really do. I, I, my stepdad is a cancer. He's like that too. Like he's, I've, I've met people who are similar. Have you experienced this? Do you think that we're really similar or do I just think that? No, we're definitely similar. Yeah, we're definitely similar, but here's the crazy thing. We are polar opposites. If, if you asked people who did not know us in any way, to step back, look at our lives and say, what do you think? They'd go, oh, these two people are so awesome. It's incredible. Then if you had a conversation for, say, two or three hours with both of us, you'd go, oh, my God, these people are really similar. So it may be a little bit of both, I think, in uh, in our case, because we're definitely, think about our lives. We've had really, really, really different lives, but somehow we've developed into very similar personalities. Right? I think that that's... I don't know why I'm worried about that. It could be a good thing. Well, I uh, I had one girlfriend that was remarkably similar to me. Only one ever. And uh, it was in college. The uh, we we just left college after uh, one of the one of my years. She went one way and I went the other. Best of friends. She went out west, didn't come back. But like there was never a fight, there was never anything. We just we just drifted in two different directions. It was bizarre, but we got along. You would not believe how well we got along. I don't think we had an argument ever. But we were. Uh, but we also. The, it's very difficult for me to to. I did so many drugs throughout my entire life that I don't have a baseline of a relationship that I wasn't high. You know what I mean? So I don't have any idea on things like that. That uh, is fascinating to me, by the way. That really fascinates me. I, I'm, I'm, I love you, Don in Wyoming. Hey, Don, good to see you. I love her. She I is such too. a good friend. Um, I give you two starfish? weeks. Yeah, what does that mean, starfish? <laughs> what does that mean? Either way, it's funny that we'll be gone in two weeks, or that we'll be together in two weeks. Either way, that's a funny comment. I'll take it either way. It's funny. <laughs> not gonna hurt my feelings with either one of those that was funny anyway shit. i like that too mark you and tommy share the experience of both being imprisoned for a major part of your life interesting very very interesting the only thing that worries me about you and i even even just i'm talking about just basic friendship stuff like uh, are we a little bit too volatile the hell's that supposed to mean seriously What'd you call me? 
Yeah, one more time, woman. I swear to God. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. Um. No, I don't think we're too volatile. That's a silly thing to say. Is it? Have you yeah, Tommy and Reese, trauma bonding, dependent on each other much? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I mean, there's no way to. It would be a good you know, two but weeks, it, though. But, but listen, in, in our own defense, I have nothing uh, to add to the second half of that sentence. Um, what do you mean volatile? Do you fight? We, I said this last night and nobody will ever know about it on YouTube because it, it fizzles out immediately. It never turns into anything, but Tommy and I definitely lock horns. I don't know that that's the right term. What's the right term? Honestly, I love these conversations because you can't have them on YouTube and I can. It doesn't bother me at all. Go on, what babe. Do you mean I can't have them on YouTube. You just look I'm you on get YouTube real, right now. You get no, I'm just cute. trying to I'm just trying to think about um the words that I want to put to this because I think it's important that that you say this correctly. Here's what I think it is. Uh we don't we don't gloss over crap other people do. Because we feel that the communication that we have is probably a little bit more important than maybe the average communication that we have with other people. We won't go, uh, okay. If, if the other one does something that grinds a little bit, we're going to stop right there and say, that grinds a little bit and we're going to fix it. And sometimes that, you know, takes eight to 10 minutes or six to seven texts that aren't as nice as the previous 70. But then we get back on track pretty quickly. And now... Actually, that's true. Yeah. So I don't know that it's, I think it's, um, and, I, and I, I don't know that that's a bad thing, right? I mean, one person would say volatile and another person would say uh, passionate or, or um, spicy, spicy, right? <laughs> right. Whatever. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't, uh, I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not a screamer. I'm not a, you know, I get frustrated. But usually with myself, I'm not, I don't know. I don't think volatile describes either of us very well, actually. Do you? If, do you? Um, no, I don't think it does, actually. I think that's kind of a little steep. But I think it's a, it's a much less version of it. I just can't think of the word. Like, it gets it gets a little... Uh, you're, it waving, some... you're, you're, you're flexing again, which you're cool. I hate that one. No, I don't like that. <gasps> Scoville, hold your tongue. Uh, I, I was trying. I just can't. I can't do any of those things. Oh, see, that's just so cool. I can't do any of those things. Um. Yeah, it's it's it's. I don't know what the word would be, babe, but it's something. Like I feel like we do sometimes, and you know what it is, Tommy. I'm going to be honest too. I'm glad we're doing this in front of people. The other thing about it is <laughs> I piss you off way more than you piss me off. No question. Oh, I mean, I'd be lying if I said it was, uh, it was otherwise. I'm not going to lie. It does happen more yes. that way than the other, but do you know why that Pam, is? I Honestly. showed everything I got today. I showed my necklace to Pam and my hat and my heart ring guys. Go over and mods. Can you put up her uh, Instagram? Sorry, Tommy, but she doesn't have all the time in the world. She's not going to hang out in here all night. Somebody put up her Instagram because I really want people to go follow her. But everybody's saying it's not working. Go on because I need to, I need an answer to this. I piss you off more than you piss me off. Go on. Do me a favor. Put up Skyrider 140. I love Skyrider. Okay, but I want to read that. Go, Confrontation please. every time something grinds would kill me. The constant anxiety spikes alone, but I guess if the energies match, then it works for some. See, confrontation isn't what we do. Do you think no, that's what we do? No, and, and, and it gives not. a really awful freaking. It gives a really bad uh, uh, deal. We don't. It's not confrontation. It's it's resolution. Everybody just glosses over things that I think I think we take what we got pretty really seriously, and I think that that's why occasionally um, both of us get 
um, intense. And the reason that um, anytime we have a problem, honestly, nine out of 10 times, it's because both of us speak two completely different languages other than the one that everybody else speaks anyway. Right. You still think yeah. and speak in Scientology and I still think and speak in a, in a language that no one should ever speak. in. Again. Yes, you do. And, and that and sometimes me. and sometimes that that is, a, is an issue with the communication. And can I be honest with you about something? Mods, can sure. you put up uh, Pam's Instagram? You put up her store right there. Retired Red. Thank you. Um, I have to be honest, Tommy, I'm going to say something that I'm scared to say to you. Oh, you couldn't look more disappointed. That's the worst face you've ever made. Well, there was no, I was going from, I'm reading comments. So I'm looking over here. That's all that, that was. So I, they're on two different parts. So there was no real look there. I was just, I could have stayed over here in the comments, but I feel like that's kind of disrespectful. If you're about to say something, I thought I would look at you, but that's oh, all you're that so was. sweet. Um, is this the correct link? Should be. There we go. Thank you mods for putting up Pam's uh, Instagram. Uh, let me just read. Cancers are very family centric and passionate about protecting them. And guess what? Families argue really well with each other. And if they really love each other, they work it out. And that is beautiful. And thank you for your super chat, my friend. Okay. Can I tell you something? No. You look so sad. I'm not sad. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I might be after you say this, but I'm not sad now. I want to say something to you because this is actually, um, yes, Renby, this is one of my very close friends. See, Pam just said at Shop Georgie, there we go. Sorry, I keep bouncing back and forth, but Pam is really a big deal and she's in here and I want to make sure people Why connect with her. Care of that thing? I just did, babe. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I know you're not. You're really cute okay. in your little hat. Now just sit there and listen. Uh, you are true friends. That is what real friends do for each other. Talk through the hard stuff and have the best of intentions. Ren, yes. Love you, Pam. We got your links up. Thank you, mods. Add some flair at Shop Georgie. I like that third eye open. Thank you for that. I am not sad. No. Tommy, here's what I want to say to you. This is the truth. Okay, Starfish, you're a little harsh tonight. You're a little pushy, but we love you anyway. And uh, I don't know who this Rias is. That's not how you spell my name, too. So if you want me to spit it out, let's at least get the spelling correct. Thank you so much. Um. Tommy, I'm going to say something. You make me a little Can I tell nervous. you something is a trigger phrase stereotype? <laughs> Katie Fulton loves your store, Pam. Go ahead. Listen, I want to say something to you. Mm -hmm. You make me a little nervous because, um, thank you, Starfish, for correcting the spelling. Because of where you came from, Tommy, because of your, you came from a very hardened, right? Hardcore mm -hmm. place. You, you came from serious prison, not like just the little kind, but like the real kind. And you, you intimidate me a little bit because you're so sweet and soft and kind, but I get fearful that I'm going to mess up sometime and say something that for lack of a better word, triggers you. And I had no idea. Like you just have such a hardened background, but then I think I have that too, but you would never have to worry about setting me off. I worry about setting you off because of where you came from. And I think I have good reason to think that, right? I mean, I know some of your, your stories and they really broke my heart. Some of the things you've told me have made me so sad. Some mm -hmm. of the things that have been done to you um, that you've never deserved and things that people have said to you, someone threw a fax machine at me. That's true, Renby, but it's not the same. I wouldn't trade with Tommy where he's been, what he's seen, what he's been through. I, I really I admire you. you either. <laughs> Promise you. I'd, I'd rather have mine than than, uh, than yours. Wow. All day. Whoa. I would, two, I would do two of them. Holy. Okay. All right. I think that's good. You can stop there. That's good. I was I was at least an adult. You know what I mean? True. You know, as as a kid, I had it pretty good. It's our friend Arwa. 
Arwa, I love, I love you. you. I'm so Arwa. glad you're here. I am too. I love her. Thank you for your super chat, babe. Yeah, it's the devil you know, Reese. Tommy says that. Tommy, help me with that though. I'm serious. Help me with that. I get, you intimidate me sometimes. I get scared that I'm going to cross a line with you that I didn't realize. I never, I don't know how well you know me. I don't intentionally cross lines with anybody. I never see the line and go, Ooh, I'm going to piss that person off and strike a nerve. I never want to do that with people. I did that enough in Scientology and I learned from it. I don't want to do that, but I'm afraid I'm going to do something to you and it's really going to piss you off. Help me. Um, I, uh, I can't help you. I mean, that's, that's a fear that's not based, um, in anything. Do you have a temper than, problem? Um, no, I don't. I don't, I've never, uh, I've never raised a hand to a woman. I've never lost, uh, my temper and hurt a woman or done anything like that. I'm not that human being and Jesus stay as, as far away from me as you can. <laughs> I mean, for real, at least in person. If if that's a if that's a fear, for God's sakes, please a, stay as far away from fear. me as you can. I'm asking you questions. It's almost I, we were gonna interview you anyway. I think it's okay to ask yeah, these questions. It is, it is, but I would not I it's um I'll be honest, that's it's uh yeah, I uh I, I know exactly what you're saying. I know I know um where you're coming from. I I looked at it for 13 years. You know what I mean? For for 13 years, there's not literally not a day that goes by that you do not come into contact with uh, free staff that are female. And uh, and they're terrified of every single one of us. And there's that that uh, look of fear that you're the guy that for some reason, you know, the way they say hello, you're going to snap and you're going to grab them and you're going to do something. And you can smell it. I'm not kidding. You can literally smell the fear. And every once in a while, you'll meet someone that for whatever reason doesn't seem to feel that at all, but it's so freaking rare. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, um, I wish if, if, if I could, uh, if I could wave a magic wand and make one thing go away, that would be it. And the, the, when I talk about that look that I've said, um, I've talked about it on the lifeboat a lot. Uh, and I, I don't know if I've ever talked about it on a show where you were on, but, um, or I've talked about, there, there comes a time in, in uh, when you're in a relationship with anybody, you're going to get to a point where um, they're going to ask you what's gone on in the last 20 years of your life or 30 years of your life. And you're going to have to either bullshit them right, and lie to them, or you're going to have to tell them that you robbed a bunch of banks, right? You ran, you ran guns, you went to prison for a long time, and um, there's going to be a switch that, that changes and you can watch it in their eyes and it goes from mm -hmm. being uh you know you're you're, you're cool or you're fascinating to uh, there's a little bit of fear here and mm -hmm. um it would it would uh it would be what would keep us from uh from ever making it because the first time i saw it i'd walk away as fast as i could because it's the worst feeling in the world yes um, and don't really is. i appreciate <laughs> your your response there but don't misunderstand too I hope this was a safe thing to ask and you're not offended by it because this is something that I'm personally working through as well. And I even asking the question I knew before I asked it that I'm possibly projecting because I, I know that I have these fears. It's not of you. It's of men in general. And it makes me nervous. Mm -hmm. And I am particularly close to you. And I think the more close I become to you, the more I feel like, oh my God, do I need to protect myself? I'm afraid. But those are all just my own insecurities. Like you told me a long time ago, it seems like years ago at this point, not all guys are your dad. Right. And that really was a beautiful thing for you to say to me. Now I'm doing better, but I do tend to project that. And, and in my heart, I know I didn't, and by the way, when I said you have a temper, I didn't mean anything physical. I, I would... I would put my life on that, that you would never be physical ever with any woman. I already know that. That's not even a question in my mind. But I just mean like, would something set you off to where you started yelling or like being totally irrational because you're so angry, like things like that. Everybody, everybody may process their anger that way. I don't know. I'm just asking you, like, I, I get fearful with men that I'm going to say something I shouldn't have because that is, I kind of have a personality anyway like that. So I worry about that, that I would cross a line with you. Um, you know, the, 
I would, um, I'd like to believe that, that once again, that's um, an affectation of the men that you've met in your life and yeah. how they've made you feel. Um, Probably. About yourself. Cause I don't think you've, um, I don't think you've been uh, around the, a lot of uh, people that were at all empowering or, or people that, um, that were rooting for you necessarily to be um, particularly independent. Right. The, you, uh, the conversation that we had over on the, uh, the lifeboat where you talked about, um, about the memory of, of uh, waking up in your father's uh, bed. And I'm not suggesting by the way, that anybody that you were touched, um, but it's just as creepy if you weren't. Yeah. Right? Because I, because I feel like that was, you know, I, I, I can understand. I really can understand why uh, you, um, I mean, your whole life you've, you've, uh, you've kind of lived in a world where you were afraid to say the wrong thing. Right. Yes. You taught a different language at a, at a very 100%. young age. That and I still carry it with me, even I'm though sure. I try to set it down. Well, but I mean, I have to, I have to be able to differentiate, right? Like I know you, I don't get to spend time with you physically, but I get to spend a lot of time with you and I trust you so much. There isn't, there isn't a question there. It's just more, I think, like I said, I think I'm projecting it's more on my end. I'm fearful that I'm going, I think I also am fearful because I care about you so much that I'm going to lose you. That's kind of a weird weird place I go to. I'm like, I love Tommy so much. I care about our friendship and our relationship so much. And he, he gives me so much. I feel like I get so much out of you that I'm afraid that I'm going to do something to upset you. And then I'm going to lose you. It's this weird, irrational place that I go to. Well, I think, uh, I think everybody does that to, um, to some extent. And if you throw in some really screwy dynamics, like the fact that you grew up in a cult, right? And mm -hmm. the fact that I went to two or three of the worst uh, facilities here in the U.S., right? So those those two dynamics um, change things dramatically because you, your upbringing wasn't just different or tough. It was freaking programming, right? And mine was a, just a really different kind of programming. And it's... Um, Yeah, I, I I get I get completely. Um, I mean, I do. I get it. Uh, I think I, this I is what I'm looking for. Actually, this is actually a really good point. A Tell her if she crosses any. Well, that's my fear, <laughs> though. Is is with a lot of people, not just you. That's my fear with all my new friends that I'm going to say or do something that is going to make people go, "Oh, we, yeah, I don't." Want, eh. And I, it's, it's maybe a dumb fear. But it is nice no. to know that, like, whatever you say, you're not going to lose it, me. Well, no, you're not. But I could, I could say that, and it isn't going to make even this much of a difference. In all honesty, really? it's not. No, oh, your irrational fears are irrational fears, with all due respect, and fears that come from a place that is in our head, right? Not on something that we're seeing or or a behavior that leads us to believe, right? If it's something that we get that isn't necessarily based in what I just looked at, then very often it may be necessarily not rational, right? Doesn't mean, but. Um, this is a good point too. You grew up being taught love was conditional. So it makes sense. She would often be afraid people would leave if she upset them. That's a huge fear for me. You grew up walking on eggshells. It is. It's right? a huge fear for me. And, and, so, and, and then throw to, into that mix the, um, the fact that, uh, you know, every story, right? Every story is whether I'm telling it or anybody else. If you get disrespected, you crush the person, right? Or if not, they're going to take you, right? They're going to take mm -hmm. you physically, yeah, like literally. Exactly. Or, yeah, okay. So, I mean, I, I, I really do get this. This is something that I completely understand. And it's, uh, uh, Again, it's one of the uh, it's one of the reasons I think that um, that I glommed onto this community, right? Because I've uh, I I end up talking about prison on crap loads of different communities, right? I'm a great prison expert. You know, I'm articulate enough to talk about it, so I get called in on a bunch of them. But I don't usually stick around afterwards and make friends. But there was um, there was something different about the vast majority of uh, of second gens that. They don't get that look, right? When they find out 
what you are. And that's a, uh, that's an unusual thing. However, um, since then, <laughs> I've, uh, I've come to realize that a few of them were not quite so genuine and just happened to be really good, which is kind of sad too, but that's a story. You're not story. talking about me, right? I am not talking about you. Okay. If I was talking about you, would we be here? I would not be here, I assure you. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. But um, no, it it happens. Um, this is, it's, it, you, you didn't offend me even slightly by bringing it up. It's, uh, okay, it's good. A because, well, yeah. I like to talk to you about real things, Tommy. I do. Whether we're on camera or off camera, that's one of my very favorite things about our relationship. I can't do that in my current relationship. Like I can't, I, I, bombs will go off. So I, I really appreciate that about us, that I can come to you and I can say things where I know it's safe. I know I'm not going to, you know, it makes, but I still get nervous about it. It's a, just, it's a weird nervous habit that I have. It's, it's actually like way bigger than you think it is. I get very nervous talking to you that I'm afraid that I'm going to say something where you're going to be like, okay, fuck this. I don't, she's no, no, I don't like that. Like, I'm afraid that it's just going to like sp spin on a dime and you're not going to feel that way anymore. Anyway, that's a weird fear. It's me, not you, but it's still okay to talk about it. I think. Of course it is. And I love and what Tony Zuder said. Thank you for that. My friend, that's a really nice thing to say. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's, um, maybe that's what we were saying earlier when, uh, when people said, uh, you know, if a confrontation on everything would be disturbing, I think this is more what we're talking about. You're just watching it. Um, it's not always, uh, you know, you, sometimes the communication isn't, uh, isn't pleasant. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's, um, that it's confrontational or that it's ugly or it's just honest as hell. And I don't think most people are. Yeah, that's you probably know? true. Most people gloss over subjects like this instead of coming and saying, you know, one of the things that scares me, especially because of where you've been, they just leave that in the back of their mind. And then the first time you, you raise your voice about something that pisses you off a little bit, every fear that they didn't bring up pops up and they start thinking this person might just punch me in the face. And then I see a look of fear in that person's eye that I promise you I'll walk away from and never talk to them again. Not because I'm angry, but because I cannot look at that twice. It's pretty un, uh, unsettling. You'd be really surprised. I like that too. How much better would our uh, friendship be and our personal relationship if we had this type of decision and still be friends at the end, have a stronger relationship? Absolutely. I've watched Tommy on the light, but he's very aware of others' feelings, very open to understanding others. Trauma makes you feel fearful. Yeah. You two communicate very well. You both have kind hearts. Thank you, my friend. That's oh, true. That's a nice thing to say. It's a very nice thing to say, and it's absolutely true. Um, I wanted to make sure that analytical Blarney, I read that. That doesn't mean he will take out those hardened times on you. His past does not define who he is now and know that it hurts him when people think he can or would be capable of that. Oh, I do know that. Again, Tommy and I are very similar. We get our feelings hurt very easily. Like we're actually pretty sensitive, to be honest. I think so. Words mean a lot to us. They just do. Conversations. I would say, I can't speak for you, Tommy, but I kind of want to say that I'm speaking for you here. Communication is like more important to us than anything in a relationship. Like even the I physical would, part of a relationship. Communication is more important than that. Yeah, It's I've at the top of our list. That. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My, me too. I'm the same. I've always been that way. Uh, just don't call him a punk. Absolutely. I learned that early on. I learned that early on. Yeah. Although, you know what? I mean, that's that's a pretty prime example. Because for 13 years, if somebody called me a punk, I did not have a choice. Right? There was literally not a choice. If somebody calls you a punk and you don't fight them, you're going to get stabbed. And you're going to get stabbed that day. Right? For real. This isn't a joke. It's literally that real. So... If somebody wants to fight you, they have it that all they got to do is drop that word and you're going to fight. Right. And that's 13 years of that. When you get out and someone calls you a punk, it is a very difficult thing to go. Oh, he's, he's not going to do anything. I can just sit here. He has no intention of hitting me because if someone else said that for the last 13 years, they were probably carrying a weapon. 
right? right? And that's kind of, that. it's an important subject to bring up, Tommy, because that's the other thing. Like where you came from is not where I came from. Mm -hmm. And so like, even I was sitting here with Huxley the other night, I call him a punk all the time. I it's call him a punk. It's a disrespectful thing. And, and it, if you were doing it in your house, but because you're doing it here, there are a grip of people, right? And there are crossovers. And I just don't want anybody clowning on, you know what I mean? Like, it's not just a convict thing. It is because convict, this literally makes me sick to say out loud, but there are a bunch of kids that think it's really cool. The whole prison lingo thing, the whole, the only people under the age of 25 that watch the lifeboat only watch shows that I talk about prison. And then I get a bunch of them. That's disturbing, but, right? But I don't know but, anything about prison. I've never watched a show about this. prison. The point is this. I've been called a punk 40 times since I've left prison, right? I'm not going to lie to you. The first guy I grabbed by the face and it was instinct. And I haven't done it since, right? Because I live in a different world. And the number of times somebody has called me a bitch because they think it's just one of those things that they can go, what's that, bitch? Okay, in prison, that gets you killed, right? And it's happened a couple of thousand times since I've been out of prison. So you have to change who you are. And that's, you know, very much a part of, uh, of becoming, you know, back put into society. Now, on the flip side of that, I'm never going to heal from the crap that happened to me in there. I'm not. There are going to be parts of me that are never going to be right. You there know, isn't, I, Kristen Melinda. I thought about that. Tommy, I heard, I'm hearing you. The thing about that is that bothers me is just even watching your face change when you said it's so disrespectful. It isn't where I came from. It isn't, it doesn't mean the same thing. So I wish like, so here's the thing I'm compromising with you. I already know not to use that word around you. I didn't know that, but it doesn't mean that here. It doesn't mean that to me. It has none of those attachments to it. So the thing is, is like, I think it's a cute little term to call my son. Like you're being a little punk ass. Like it doesn't have the prison lingo attachment. So I'm trying to compromise by not using it. I wish you would compromise by going, it doesn't mean the same thing to her. I don't attach. You can't, it, it I mean, you if, hear that if, word and it I sets you off. That, no, if it set me off the way it did, I promise you it's not setting me off. I just, I don't, I don't want somebody <sighs> I can't even literally explain this, right? Number one, I'm going to demonetize your channel, I mean, your, uh, your show. And number two, I'm going to run a bunch of people off. But to have the conversation with the vocabulary that I got to make you understand this, I just don't want, I wouldn't want anybody coming up to the kid and saying something jacked up. And there are people out there that would, right? And this is live for a gazillion people who can eventually see it. I don't care what you call them at your house. I just think maybe don't do it for the entire world to see, because there's a segment of this population who thinks that word means something else. And it isn't just guys who have been to prison, unfortunately. It's not. It's a grip of people who think that guys that have been to prison are somehow cool, right? That's why they got millions of subscribers. It's not, honestly, if I, if I turn my channel into a prison channel, I'll make it a hell of a lot bigger, a lot quicker. I just don't have any desire to do that. But I just, and, and you know what? You can call you whatever you want. I just, you know, I don't want, I don't want a video out there where you're calling him basically somebody that likes to do something with a man, right? For a specific outcome, which is what that means inside. And it's also what a bunch of people outside, because in this forum, there's about a million, right? <laughs> channels out there that just talk about prison on this little island that we're floating around on. So it's just one of those words that, but it's not. Yeah. I'm not I angry at you. I'm not yelling at you. I'm not, you know. Right. I I hear you and I'm going to respect it and not use it. But that's only because you're asking me to. Again, it's not where I well, come I mean, from yeah. and where it's not. I just wish you would. You're. I feel like you, you're, I'm bending a little bit to understand you. I don't feel like you're doing the same though. Like I, it doesn't mean anything to me. To me, it's a cute term. Like I, I never understood what that word meant other than like, I feel like it's a safe, cute little term to call him. I'm not going to do it anymore because of what you told me about it. Right. But just know that I didn't know that the intention behind it was not to be disrespectful. That's what I want you to understand. Like, I'm not trying to that. cross lines. Oh, no. I'm not oh, trying to be disrespectful. Oh, I, know. 
I don't think you're, I don't think you would ever try to be disrespectful to your own kid. I mean, that, what is Huxley's opinion? I've been be, calling him a little punk ass. He, he loves the, when he was little, he loved the movie the um, Andrew, Transformers. The Andrew Wise Transformers is, is, quite, is interesting. And in that movie, since he's loved, since he was like six years old, one of the Transformers guys goes punk ass Decepticon. And so ever since then, we used to watch it together and I'd go quit being a punk ass Decepticon and he would laugh. And so that's where it comes from. It's just, I'm trying to get you to understand that I, I had no idea the attachment to that word. Sure. I understood that. How would you have? Right. You wouldn't, there's no way you could have known. Right. I, I, uh, I'm not, I wasn't offended that you said it. I just said, oh man, don't, don't put that out for the world. And literally when you throw the ASS to the backside of it, it's a modifier to that word that actually makes it worse inside. Right. And if you throw the B on the end of it, that, that phrase is literally the most, the worst thing you can say in prison is to call someone a punk ass bitch. That is the worst. Right. That is go get your weapons. You're meeting in the day room and you're cutting each other up. This means so, punk. There you go. Punk to me comes from the movie uh, SLC Punk. Have you seen gotcha. SLC Punk? I, I, it's, I used it's to a, go it's a music thing. Punk bands my entire life. Yeah. Right? I, that's I what I think of Ramones. when I think of punk. I get it. I get it. I'm not I'm not debating any of that. I know what punk is. I grew up with the Ramones before you were born. I was going to see him in concert. I know what punk is. It's just that we're on YouTube where there are five or 10 channels that have millions of subscribers, right? A bunch of them are actually on the boat, right? A bunch of the same people. And it has a connotation that is nasty. And it, all I did was mention it. I'm not, I didn't say, I'm not talking to you ever again. How dare you say something like this? All I said was, oh, man, I don't record that. Honestly, you don't want one of those people coming along and thinking that of your kid or mocking him for it. And it's just a road that, and that was the only reason I brought it up. But I know you didn't mean any disrespect. And I know that it's a word that means nothing outside of prison. And there are words, I mean, like W-O-G is a racial slur in other countries, right? Yeah, for I know. Real. I stopped using and it. And I'll tell you something else. That. You know that pack that you wear on the front of your, uh, right? Or the one you wear on the back? Do you know what pack? A fanny pack? Yeah, that word does not mean the same thing in the other side of the pond that it means right here. It means your cooter on the other side of the pond. And when you say, oh, she's got a fanny pack, everybody goes like this. <laughs> it turns and looks at you like, what did you just say? It's just, it's a cultural thing. And you know what? Right. I was in a really bad culture and I'm not proud of it. Right. Really and now, now that I know that, I won't use it. Now that you've explained it to me, I won't use it. I understand. I just, well, I, guess I, I, I didn't fly off the handle about it. I didn't, I didn't get, do you think I got angry about that? I mean, did I fly off the handle about that? No, I didn't say you did. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't. I mean, I promise. I just, honestly, this just, it impresses me. Like our backgrounds, our backgrounds are totally different. That's they where really we kind of collide. Yeah. Our backgrounds are totally different. Um, I don't know. I think it's interesting. We don't need to change the subject, Starfish. This is just what we do. This is like yeah. where it goes. And Kimmy's, Kimmy's blue. We actually um, have done this. Like we've actually, this was one of the reasons the other day, the first question I asked was, what is it like thinking in a language mm -hmm. that no one else knows? Because I do yeah. it. The, mm -hmm. There are, everybody on the street knows punk ass bitch is a Right. Everybody knows what that is in prison. And there's a reason for that reason. Everyone knows what that means in prison is because it's jumped the fence and is now a part of popular culture, which is why all everybody on planet earth seems to know that if you say that in prison, it's a problem. Right. So that, that is one of those things. And there, the reason I brought it up is I, I know that there are 500 other things, right. We talk a language in there. I, I have a, I got a notebook I'm mailing to someone who's making a uh, dictionary out of this. It's like that thick. And it's just words that mean absolutely nothing on the street, but inside mean something. Because there are enough idiots, I'm sorry, that really would like to buy an English to prison dictionary. That's the world we live in. There's, there are people wow. who literally are fascinated by this. And, and it's the reason that I'm probably here.
so maybe I shouldn't complain about it, but it's uh, it's funny to me that people are fascinated by prison. I have to say, I appreciated this conversation. Seriously, it's it wasn't the, uh, I still haven't done my interview on you, but I like that we can go there. I like that we can go there either on or off YouTube. And um, it doesn't make me uncomfortable. This kind of stuff doesn't make me uncomfortable. It might make the chat uncomfortable. It might make you uncomfortable, but I think it's, it's good to dive into this stuff. I think it's good to, I, I have so much to learn. So it helps me a lot. Yeah, I, uh, I think it helps people to watch. And I don't think you have to have be uh, have a, a clue what we're talking about. <laughs> Honestly, you could have come in at the middle of this conversation and not know what we're uh, what we're talking about, and you probably benefit from watching two people try to have a conversation without stepping on each other's toys, and in the process, still be kind to one another. Yes, starfish, that's correct. Your anxiety has nothing to do with Tommy. Of course, it doesn't. It's mine, not his. I just said that earlier. I'm projecting a bit. I yeah, I think she said that um, from Jones Street. I think she was uh, she was pretty clear with that. Yeah, and I think Tommy can handle it, and we're close enough that I I think it's okay to have these conversations. Correct me if I'm wrong, and I won't go there again, Tommy. But you're one of no. the few people I can go there with, so I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. I really am okay. not. Uh, you know what, Cricket? That. Uh, that cheesecake is amazing. <laughs> Next day's tough. Not gonna really not gonna lie. You gotta you gotta eat a Come small in. piece of that. You gotta Cricket. eat a really small Come piece in. of that. Um, Tommy, do you have another couple of minutes? Sure. I was not prepared for couples therapy. <laughs> we take it where it goes, guys. That Sometimes we blur work if we were a couple, right? No, no couples ever work this well together. If we were <laughs> We we're really a couple. It wouldn't work like this. We'd be spitting at each other and calling each other names. Right? That's what happened with couples. We're, we're I wouldn't, but uh, I don't fight like that. Um, no, Andra Wise. I would never use that word. Cricket, you know what's get really in. Funny is somebody said, you know, would I be banned if I said this, this, or this? Guys do this in prison all the time, right? Like a, a dude will, will refer to somebody as a park bench because it's this close, right? And that is, I have watched somebody hear that the wrong way and throw boiling oil from the, the uh, kitchen onto a dude. Literally, for hearing that the wrong way. It's a really odd place. Deeming, I agree with that. Uh, Simone, why are you trying to push Tommy away? Maybe you're not, but it seems like it. Absolutely not. I definitely am not. If it seems that way, it's incorrect. I'm not. Um, well, thank you for your super chat choice. <laughs> couldn't, yes. uh, couldn't be happier. Thank you so much. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Um, <laughs> yeah, Reese doesn't fight. She has respectful arguments, new boundaries. I don't fight. I don't fight with people. I don't like to fight. It's not my thing. Uh, anyway, I guys. just put steel in them, for real. Carry a you shank. what? No, I said normally I'll just put steel in them. You get disrespectful with me. That's what shanks are for. Is this about yoga? Because I just got in. Yes, this is a yoga discussion. Yeah, that's, this was about oh. yoga and how, how bendy he is. Bendy Scoville. Um, you're not upset with me, are you? No. Why would you ask me if I was upset with you? Do you still feel toward it? <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure I could match the, uh, I'm not sure I could match the eyebrows, but just uh, take my word for it. I'm doing it. What would that be? Okay. Cause I still feel it a lot. Good. I'm still into it like quite a bit. And I, when you did I've that never... tree thing, I wanted to climb it. <laughs> uh, what are you trying to click on? Putting your head down by your feet is not natural. Ben, you're just saying that cause you're like six foot 11. You know, if you were, if you were slightly shorter, you would be, uh, you could probably do that, but you're, he's a very tall man. You talk about a, he is a, uh, he has a big tree. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you for that one too. Um, Hey, Tommy. I preferred your first one. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I was going to, uh, Kim is blue. I don't 
know anything. Red, I don't drink, so I don't really. <laughs> just, just, just red shorts. <laughs> you love your little red shorts, especially when you yeah, put your I mean, foot there, was, there was no reason for anything else. Just a Don, thank you. Red shorts. Red. Especially when you put your foot up high above your knee and you pull the shorts up. I think that's everybody's favorite part. At least that's mine. I speak for the crew. I think that's everybody's. Okay. Thank um, you. Uh, you're so welcome. Is that my demonetized and... that I missed something? I actually had a mod watch that entire thing. I'm like, listen, uh, this is going to sound crazy. Uh, Starfish, I would love to come to Tucson. Maybe that will be my first trip. Maybe I should fly to you, Tommy. Um, well, you know where I live. Would you be willing to have me? I'll take Sorry, that as what? a no. I will go someplace else. <laughs> Guys, it sounds no, like no, it's a no, solo no, no. tour. No, 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 no. I just wanted to hear you repeat that. Could you say that one more time? Would you be willing to have me? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Okay. Just wanted, okay. To, be, uh, wanted to hear you say that a second time. That's all. Uh, Because, yeah, Reese, you said we've all been thinking about them red shorts. Yeah, it's, <laughs> uh, it's a thing, Kelly. <laughs> I think about it a lot. I may or may no, not have no, a few no. screenshots in my phone of the red shorts. And I know you guys do too. So don't be judging. Um, so yeah, I have, 20, uh, 20 people. uh, Hey Tommy, can you stick around for a minute? Because I have cricket with us sure. and she's going to come on and chat with us about the cruise for a minute. Do you mind? All right. No, I do not. Okay. Cricket. Hi hey, everybody. Hey, you. Yeah, I like your hair tonight. Dang. That's cute. You look like a little <laughs> fraggle rock. <laughs> that's so cute and oh just God. for you reese i'm wearing my buffalo bills body lotion t-shirt i love that I and that. i love how you always flash me your boobs i'm i'm here for it you know i i am Tommy flashes theme. the shorts cricket flashes it's the a, boobs it's a recurring theme i feel like the last time i was here i saw your rack this that's that oh, no it was on your show the case I don't have anything to flash. You guys have really good stuff to flash. I just have a beard. Every time I'm just, I just have the beard to flash. I don't, I can't sit back and do that with my boobs because I don't have anything. I actually, um, I have a gift for you. I, I'm going to bring it on the cruise. It's boob tape. For my caftans? No. So that your girls can finally meet. Wow. Are you saying that we're going to tape my tits? Yes. I don't think I don't so. I just hold them together. Like, yeah. I, I mean, if, if you're just it's not like meat, electrical tape or duct tape or anything like that. I it'll not just come mash them easily, together? But it'll hold them so that they get to meet. <laughs> They're sad and lonely. Sad and lonely. Sad and lonely. Won't come sad and lonely. Time to take a chance with me. Because uh, I ain't so bad. <laughs> I don't understand. You're going to put my, you're going to, you're going to. Seven There's a way that you can tape them up. You put tape them up over here and a piece over here, and it squishes them together, and then they get to meet, and then you'll have cleavage, and it'll be amazing. I bought it just for you. For the prom. Yeah. That is so kind. I do want to tell you, I have a Spanx bra that gives me some serious cleavage. I could have just brought that, but you know what? You spent hard money on this, and uh, if we got to tape them up, we got to tape them up. I think that's kind of sad. Um, I'm here to help. Rain virus okay. says boob tape is awesome. Reese, just try it. You know what? Um, I would say go with her. She's never steered me wrong in the past. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Cricket. I appreciate you thinking about my boobs and lack thereof. Always. Always. You've taped yours, Tampa Bee. I have seen your boobs totally naked. That's not true. They are I've popping out of the top of your turtleneck. <laughs> I've yeah, taped mine. It's really funny. I've been in a, in a, a dress that I didn't want to wear a bra with. And so you put a little something over the nips so they don't get the tape directly on them, like, you know, band-aids or whatever. And then what you just, that? I mean, if you're into that, then you're into that. No, I'm not here to kink shame. I'm just no. asking for others. I'm not really necessarily asking. Sometimes for I will friend. kink ask why, but I will not kink shame. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, you, you just, you put a little band aid over the, over the sensitive bits and then you just tape them up and then you don't have to wear a bra, no lines, no nothing. You just tape them right up. How about Mimi's suppressive pups? I'm glad I came in late. Yoga shanks and now tip tape. <laughs> That's how we roll. 
do they does it hold them yeah oh huh. okay um fine i won't do it then i was you know gonna I mean? say I volunteer it, just don't listen he, you know? he was gonna walk around all night holding them how would that work would you just be behind me tommy just yes exactly that I mean, then wouldn't... nobody even sees it. It's just my big paws from the back. Like the... Yeah, then you would talk to Janet Jackson. That's fine. I didn't think no. about that either, Tommy. Your hands are so big, though, that they would just... Um. All right. Well, you know what? I think we try both. We go one night with Tommy, and then we do the other night with the boob tape. And then we see which we vote. Hey, we take and vote. I am a team player. I'm nothing if not a team player. Clearly. Oh, yeah. we know. Yeah, definitely. We know that. Uh, I volunteer as tribute. Excellent. And you know what? Yeah, actually looks like that would be uh, excellent practice. I could do it. Uh huh. Already. Tommy could use one hand. Watch it. I probably you watch know what? it. I probably, if I could get, I could get Reese from the back with one hand. I probably could. Okay, they're not that table. little. I just got them measured at Nordstrom. No, I, I am a D cup. In my hand. The unfortunate thing is I found that some boobs aren't, they don't have volume. Like the Nordstrom girl said, yeah, they don't have the volume. My boobs are, they go their sides. They just like to hang out over on the side. And it's a shame. There's nothing they, wrong with side boob, just for the record. Huge no, side boob fan. There Always been a fan of side boob. Here. I just want to point out, like, these are my boobs. I have something, but they're just not like Tampa bees where they pop out of the top of her turtleneck. Well, see, that's why okay. this exists. Thank you so I much like for that. I it's like really it. kind. It's really kind. And um, you're the only person I know that would purchase that for me. So thank you so much. I think, <laughs> I think that I should make this announcement because it has been said, I've heard this many times, that the prom and several other uh, events should probably be um, televised. Side moves. Don't you love her? I swear to God, she's one of my favorite people. She makes me laugh so often. You have no idea. Kristen's it's classy. Great. Side boob is classy. Really is. Go on. Side boob is classy. Um, a lot of class. But but Ray Ban now makes those glasses that you can wear to film with, and so I'm going to be rocking Wayfarers for the uh, for the deal that has pinholes. There's no way you can tell their cameras; they just look exactly like. But that's what I'm going to do. So I will be I will be broadcasting. Oh, that's amazing. Mommy is a bit testy. My bit, see, this is this one always hurts me. See what I mean? Like no, I'm she testy. means it in a good way. She meant zesty. She just typed accidentally she testy. Anything? She meant zesty. Yeah, Something about I testy. I don't know. I don't know. Would that take Cinderella's off glass with slipper? Yoga I'm glad that you're here for this um for this live. <laughs> I really am. Sometimes just throw you them know, over your shoulder and carry them on, says Miss D. All righty. Tommy reporting for tape duty. Um, actually speaking of Tommy reporting for tape duty, who does tape them? Am I supposed to do that? Or does Tommy do that? I mean, I can help if you want me to, but if you don't want me to, uh, captain paddles up there can probably help you. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I could probably pull it up. All right. I have skills in this area. I, I can't actually back that up. I don't know that I have any skills in this area, but, Is that like on your <laughs> resume? but I'm really good at removing them. I have skills I in this area, he says, frantically digging for a YouTube <laughs> tutorial about boob tape. No, nah, I'll figure it out. Captain Paddles. There you go. That would yep. be a bad shirt, Captain Paddles. Captain Paddles. I love the relate the boat. boat. There you go. Relate a boat. I'm a I fan. Love love I've heard that one. Came for that's the connection to the kink is kind of a bonus. Ben, I couldn't agree more. And that's what I really <laughs> like to get into. Uh, Tommy's go. kinks. I don't there know if you, you know, go. he has a foot thing. He has a serious foot thing. Um, again, my volunteers are uh, yeah. after getting sweaty on the dance floor at the prom. How will boob take uh, tape be taken off at the end of the night? The sweat will actually help it remove um, pretty easily with teeth, no doubt. Ooh, <laughs> that's a real kink, and I'm for it. I'm here for that. That is something that I will leave to other more qualified people. I kind of like that. The, look, look what it did to my poor girlfriend. She looks like she's oh. dying. Do you see her? Oh. Stress. It's a Saturday night. The um, toe beans. I it's know. A the jelly, jelly beef actually. toes. You, you got to um, get those toe beans for me. Beans. Yeah, great toe beans. 
Hey, y'all. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, Cricket, can you tell us real quick? Because we've got over 600 people in here. Can you tell us about the cruise, gal? I Tom can. and I are going. I know, and I'm I super excited you. about that. Bye, squirrel. Um, it, do we know if Spanx I, is going yet? Uh, I don't know if Spanx okay. is going. It's a, it's there's a uh, it's a passport thing. We're working on it. Okay, I'm waiting on mine. Hey, um, Cricket, um, are there still rooms available? Pretty sure yes. I have to pay for, for this, this pay per view. <laughs> Damn there straight. Are. On we're not on the boat there. tonight, so we can do it over here. That's what I love coming, Tommy coming over here. Um, go on. You were saying there are Only rooms on available. Pay per view. Yes, there are rooms available. Now I know that we're we've gone past the March 2nd first deposit date. And that's okay. The first deposit date was only to guarantee that I could continue offering the same low fare that I had been offering from the jump, but I still have group rates available. So it's not going to be as inexpensive. It might be increased in price a little bit, but not a huge amount. So people can still book and I would love to have more people book. Right now, we have 36 cabins booked. We have 51 people booked. And and let's do it. You know, I can I can book more people. I'm just booking from general inventory right now. And it's not going to be as inexpensive as it was before. Goosebump is looking for a roommate balcony so, cabin. So yeah, you can do roommates. You can do roommates. Yeah. Would- Max has got nothing on this. I can make it way worse. Oh, I just so don't because I don't want to make Tommy uncomfortable, but I'd love to go You're there. We might get a different I'm channel. Scared. You think I'm scared? Bring that. I'm worried. I'm afraid you won't. You're look not? at Tommy twirling his no. tube of terror here just on the I'm screen for everybody I'm to look not at. I'm afraid of you. That's right. I'm playing That's with my dirty. tube. What of, it? what of it? I'm playing with my tube. I'm mm-hmm. Dirty. I love it. I'd like to take but, it to the next yeah. level, honestly, but... Go on. You were saying? Yeah. So the the cruise for for those who are not informed, um, the cruise is September twenty first through the 29th on Carnival Magic. It's sailing round trip out of Miami, and we're going to Aruba, Curacao, and two stops in the Dominican Republic: La Romana and Amber Cove, which is right you know near this Puerto Plata. Yeah, I didn't know we were going to Aruba. That's awesome. Yeah. Aruba is going to be, as far as I know, it's going to be the first stop, as a matter of fact. Nice. Nice. Sounds like a fun place to uh, explore. Yes. Yes. Oh, there's Squirrel. Hey, lady. Me and Anna Nicole. Um, Aruba's great. I know a good place for uh, tacos. I bet you do. Spa balcony. All right. Do you Spa like balcony. tacos, yeah. Tommy? Do you like tacos? I do like tacos. I'm a do you fan. like to eat tacos? Good. I do. I am a fan. Do you like to eat tacos in Aruba? I bet you do. As a matter of fact, I do. Yeah. I'm a fan. I am I, a fan. I Yadira, good to see you. Hey, um, Yadira. I love Yadira. So, uh, Reese, there are several... Uh, People that need roomies, shy ones, spicy ones, etc. Uh, so let's <laughs> figure true. that out. We got to figure that out because I think I think that could be uh, what's holding people back. See, is- I am not. Um, I I am doing so much for this group, but the one thing I will not do is assign roommates. I'm not taking the hit on that. So we do have a. Uh, a group on Facebook where people can meet up and they can talk and decide whether or not they get along with each other. If they need roommates, one of the people that needs a roommate, I might add is our much beloved inappropriate heifer. Wait a minute. I thought she had a roommate. She did, but that roommate has to back out due to medical reasons and, and you know, no shade to that it happens this is just you know we're dealing with life on life's terms and 
Hef's roommate had to back out. So we need to find a roommate for Hef. All right. Can somebody volunteer? We also, and I mean, hey, maybe maybe Hef can move up to the room with Goosebump. Goosebump is needing a a roommate. Well, done. As well. What do you mean? <laughs> done. Sold. What is what's the problem? Put it together. I'm saying this happen. I'm saying maybe because again, I'm not assigning shit. I don't want to be the one taking well, the hit on the problem, that. If they ladies? wind up hitting each other and Goosebump, are you a dude? Is Goosebump a guy? Okay, no, he or she Goosebump says is, sure. Goosebump is female. Okay, okay good. perfect. F done, right? Oh, Let's make this go. happen. What's going on? Get in touch Let's with me. It. Seal the deal. You know what? Not nobody, nobody, uh, uh, nobody gave me a shot of the whole roommate thing, Reese. I would have moved in with you. You didn't. You didn't even offer. I'm a little hurt. Just saying. Fine. I'll just stay alone. How do you know you're not my roommate? Oh, okay, cool. I was told. Uh, well, the captain goes down with the ship. No question. Oh, fairy. No question. Down. That was every intent. Whatever. That was very Skinamax. Prepositions. Uh, Bothersome. Giggity. I like that. Giggity, giggity. Giggity, giggity. giggity. giggity, giggity. Okay. Um, put a sock on the door. Did you uh, see what's that? that? Oh, interesting. Oh. I got a new bag of something uh, called Kitty Sushi, and my cat's going nuts for it. Oh, my God. It's crazy. Um, She won't poop on the boat. Yeah. And yeah, I have a hard time. Tommy, that's the problem. I won't poop near you. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you'd get over that in about six minutes. How do you know? Because I'm that dude. Six minutes. What does that mean? That means I'm a really laid back dude. I wouldn't be the one that was going to cause you to feel uh, self-conscious about anything. Hey, you can't prove that, Lord Kiss Freak. <laughs> I'm just saying. Can't prove that. It's one bag. On I side. did ask him to the prom, Dom. I did ask him. You did ask me to the prom. This is true. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, it is. We are going to have a prom on board. I'm I'm working with that now. I've decided since I was told that a vote was taken and I should just decide on the theme. So, okay. So, I've decided that the theme is dress your decade. Whatever decade Sweet. you would have uh, graduated high school. Sweet. But the theme is a suggestion. It is not a requirement. So Excellent, because it's not what I'm wearing. You so. go to a, a, a thrift store and you find a giant Kensonera meringue of a dress. Ooh. Wear that. Love Who cares? It. We're going to have it on one of the two uh, formal nights, elegant nights. I'm thinking. Ben, don't bet on that, brother. Don't bet on that. Uh -huh. Well, there's a way. Uh, yeah. Nobody tells me what to do. That's, That's right, right, Barbara. Damn straight, um, Barbara. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm going to be looking cute, and I don't know what my decade is because I didn't go to school. So do I'm what you gonna... like. Yeah. That's right, Lori Kissbreak. I'm going to be rocking one from the '30s. It's all right. That was a good time. Love yeah. Oh, that's the but decade I, I like. Them were great. Yeah, Somebody else was great. asking about menswear from from like the era. And I, I said, you know what? One of those little ruffled front shirts, you can't go wrong with that shit. Oh, that's cute. Tommy, yeah. I see you in uh, what they wore when he said, nice side of Hooters you got there. You could get like an orange or a blue tux. <laughs> yeah, but then I would have to be a completely different kind of classy. Ooh, check out the milk bags on that hose hound. <laughs> Look at the fun bags on that hose hound. He must work out. Go get me another bowl of loudmouth soup. <laughs> <laughs> not on that. Oh, Duffster man. rhymes. I see you. I'm not wearing a hat. Instead, I did this to myself. I'm so. sorry. You're gonna Molly Ringwald that shit. You know something? You had me at Molly Ringwald. I didn't even finish the sentence. Good lord. We uh, we Molly really Hatt. do need to get Reese to watch Pretty in Pink. At some point. Why is it the theme C or uniforms? And it was a legitimate. That's a. Legitimate. That's pretty cool, Anita. Yeah, because we don't hate ourselves. That's why. 
I can uh, I can grow a skeleton. You know what? I want to I want to wear a uniform oh, that actually cool. fits me and that has been laundered more than twice in the last month. Uh -huh. Tommy, do not, do not do that, please. No, I haven't seen you know Pretty what? in Pink. Uh, no, Joe Virus, she hasn't. Pretty in Pink? Wow, hmm. that's just so wrong. It's um, a freaking crime. It really is. It's a sin. Uh, it's I'm a high so sorry, crime. Guys. I'm so sorry. Um, Tommy, she hasn't seen Casablanca either. Well, I mean. Nobody has. It's from fair. 1910. To be fair, neither have I. I haven't watched Casablanca or Fred probably Golden didn't Man. see that. Neither of you women have watched Casablanca. Nobody's even heard of it besides you. No, I've heard of it. I just haven't watched it. He's oh, out. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's it. Cool. He's gone. He's gone. He turns his back <laughs> on us. <laughs> Look at his shunned. That's almost kind of creepy yeah, looking. All we see is the hat. It looks like a ghost. That's ghosty. It's just the invisible man with the floating hat. That's a little creepy. It's literally the greatest love story in history. Thank you, Teresa. Okay, well, I was born in 84, dude. I haven't seen it. Okay. Well, I wasn't just because born I... in the 1930s either, but it's still the greatest film ever. Just because I marry men who were born in the 20s doesn't mean that I've seen every movie from then. That all their I have classmates. Seen both of those. That I've seen all their movies with their classmates. Well, see, I, I don't know. Fred was probably in that movie. You know, really, honestly, I was going to say with it, with you, with your dating profile, how have you not seen these? Right. Most of your boyfriends um, saw these in elementary school. That's probably true. And I, as Anna Nicole Smith, I have no answer for that. I don't know. We both love what soup. Fair to remember is a great one. <laughs> we could talk we or, not talk, talk or not talk for hours. Not talk. For hours. <laughs> what does she say? She's like, I, honestly, I had to keep him. Off. I can't keep him off of me. Such an I really want to watch that movie. Oh, yeah. It's an amazing movie. It I love amazing that movie. movie. Busy B. <laughs> Where the hell is Busy B? <laughs> is that LL Bean? What does he say? I can't. Oh my god! I just went blank on something. You must now be very like proud, this. Mary. <laughs> Look at you, Mr. Hip. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you guys not Damn love my favorite nut. part? My favorite part of that whole movie is every time she runs into one of her. Remember, she's talking about her boyfriends and she's like, he's like, she had dozens and she's like hundreds. He's like hundreds. I didn't know that. And then like every part in that movie, there's a guy that's like Cookie Googleman. <laughs> I love that. I always wanted to be that girl. Remember when the guys, she goes, she goes, wow, you've grown. And he's such a creep. And he goes, I'm growing right now. Looking at you, girl. <laughs> and he's like, keep him up. Keep him up. And her husband is standing there. And she's like, my husband, this is my husband, Jerry. And he's like, Gary, how are you? <laughs> Macadamia nut. Pecan <laughs> nut. <laughs> That's awesome. I love when she runs into one of them and he's like, that was still the only time I ever did it on a roller coaster. <laughs> Cookie Googleman. Uh, he was looking you, at you, Kenway. kid. I have seen Casablanca, best movie ever. I was born in 1982. Okay. I haven't That's seen it. I, That's you know, I, gonna before She's gonna I met Tommy, I had never even heard of it. Oh, I've heard of it. I just, there are so many movies that i classic <laughs> movies that i haven't caught up on do you know why do you know why he really does have lived? two left feet right Go on. do you know why that movie is so fantastic i'm gonna tell you because it is the only movie right about world war ii that was made when world war ii was going on like all of the other films were literally tributes or whatever and things made after the fact they made this while it was going on and it was really like uh, it ruffled a crap load of feathers um and it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece of art. It really is. Black well, and white. Tommy, let's Great watch it actresses. sometime. When I think I... that would be fantastic. Right after our naked yoga uh, instruction. We also we have did to ask for that have first. you watched something to... on, um, on Mystery Science Theater 3000 so that you can know what that is because it's kind of important. 
Um, yes, I'm very familiar with Mystery Theater 2000. Or 2000. Or, or... a terrier. She's not. She doesn't You've know. Never from Mystery seen Science Mis Theater. Oh, never seen what? It. Mystery never, Science Theater 3000. What 3000? Mystery Science Theater. I've never even heard of it. it. Yeah, it's you heard of it last cool. night. But it's classic. Yeah. It is a classic. Double it's, feature with Craig Oh, Pinkett. yeah. Somebody was saying that last night, like about it. Somebody super chatted me about it. That's right. I don't know what that means, though. That was a movie? That's what they were referring to? Okay. It's a They're series. To a, it's, a, it's a television show that showed movies while people clowned on the films. Pretty funny. Yeah. Stuff. Basically, they talk shit about the cheesy movies that they're watching at the same time. Yes. They're watching That's the movie exactly and they're is. talking shit, and you see their little silhouettes down in front of the screen. And, and they just talk shit on the movie. And some of it is so stinking funny that I am beside myself. It really is. And if it really is, I, okay. I, I'm not going to lie. I wasted a tremendous amount of time watching that growing up. That was a big thing. My freshman year in college, that was a really big thing. I don't consider it. I was, uh, well, no, it was everything else I was doing at the time. It was just sort of background. Every Thanksgiving, I watched the Turkey Day Marathon. Still. Oh, Pajama Pixie. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. One of the most romantic nights ever. It's because it's one of the most romantic movies ever. Well, I want to watch movie. it. Should I go watch it? Okay. I'll go watch no. it. No. No. I'm sorry. You what was to... this? That wasn't English. Did you say Bally Who? What did you say? Now who? I, I don't remember exactly what I said, but it was but it, it was a ejaculation to try to talk you out of what you were about to do. Sorry. Now it's really ejaculation. Really nice. It really is. Sorry. Very okay, Bronte. So I should you. not watch it, Tommy. Well I thought played. you wanted me to no. see it. Don't see it. You should, but you should watch it with me. Oh, that's cute. So that way I can I slap you... your arm and go, oh, you got to see this part. Oh, wait. Did you hear what he said? Oh, wait. Like, I'll do that to the whole thing. It'll drive you nuts. You'll love it. Great. That actually, yeah, sounds awful. Okay. And we know. needed to have a watch party on the cruise so that you can finally see the South Park episode about Scientology. Oh, when you said watch party, I thought you were going with something. I thought you were talking about something else that. too. I heard Woo! watch party. I was, like, and, uh, I I was, it was thinking watch party. Cruise. Yeah, I thought it was a watch. Yep. That's funny. We both thought yeah. that. Okay. I um, think I think Tommy's watch parties are invitation only. They they are actually invitation only. Members only. I signed up. I gave him my forked over my, my debit card. Members I only. There's right an 80s over. reference. There you um, go. I have a are we doing our I just saw Goosebump again. Are we doing this? Did we did we did we set that up half and Goosebump? I love Ben Turner. What a great comment. Can you imagine the OSA guy that has to transcribe this. Oh Ben, you don't watch my channel very often. It's a problem for OSA. They've complained. They've written complaints. Hey, from what I understand, what I've been led to believe recently, I'm OSA. So you know, at least I've got an inside. Inside could be, uh, one of us. On Cricket. could be any one of us. Yeah, I, that's true. Yeah. Tribute for your um, watch party. <laughs> yeah, Tommy is zesty. Yes, he is. Um, back to real quick, because I do want to, uh, I know Tommy's going to be jumping off here any second. I just feel it. I feel it deep. Um, Ooh. What? <laughs> just... Ooh. I have that effect on the, anyway. Yeah, what you do. Saying? Um. What um, and the guys, does any have, does anybody have any serious questions about the cruise? Yes, please ask me questions about the cruise because I mean, I go on live every night at one a.m. Central Time. Yeah, it's too late for me, and it's too late for a lot of people, and it's also they don't know. What time is Joy the midnight Pat buffet again? What time is the midnight buffet? If it's at you know, 11, that seems a little odd. <laughs> um, it's it's right after 11.59 like... p.m. There's it, not a so lot it's of not just on. a clever name? I was kind of hoping that there would be more people. So we got 50 people going? 51. I don't know. I'm pretty impressed with that, actually. I, I was kind of hoping me. for 100. I don't, maybe I don't remember my prom very well, but I don't feel like there was that many of us there. I did a lot of... Uh, anyway. Yeah, I, I was kind of hoping, I, I mean, 
I initially blocked out 45 cabins. I think we'll get And to. how many do you have? 36. Okay. Yeah, rain virus. We'll we'll keep you uh informed on that. Yes, we will. Um okay. And yeah, when we get to when we get to Makanga, I'll let you all know. It's and just we will off be of, of uh, just off the northern coast of Outer Fungulia. We will be um Who's your boyfriend? Who's whose boyfriend? No, I don't know. Someone asked, who's your boyfriend? I, I assume. That's him. You wanna you got wanna deal with hands. my boyfriend? Got the big That's hands. Him. Yeah. Um big hand dude. the yeah, you wanna have a word with my boyfriend? That's him in the hat. Uh what's uh Okay, Lord. Oh, Jones I'd love Green. to be at the uh, Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Would you got uh not that. Uh Tampa B. Question about the beverage it. package. Beverage package. There are two. One of them is for sodas only. Uh it gets you unlimited sodas. Otherwise, you will be charged a la carte for your carbonated beverages. So uh there are two. Hmm? The drink package with the coffee, the unlimited like coffee drinks and frappuccinos and all that's that's with the alcohol package, correct? Yes. Would somebody be willing to purchase an alcohol package and I can have your coffees? Because I don't there's no coffee package, otherwise I would buy it. I'm not buying an alcohol package. I don't drink at all. Right. I of course. Be talked into that. Huh? I said I could probably be talked into that. No, I don't really want are you gonna get the booze package? Um, I'm usually good for two beers, yeah. For unlimited specialty coffees, unlimited sodas, energy drinks, uh, milkshakes where available. There's oh. a lot of other stuff that comes with the booze package. I think the I'm going to be on my period during that time, so I'm really going to need the milkshake thing too. Uh, and plus, we all know that my milkshakes bring everybody to the cruise. <laughs> wrong, wrong audience. Damn They're right. like... Um, Better than yours. And they're damn like, right. just don't be rude. Damn wrestling. right. You'd never be rude. Oh. Damn Mark right. Hardman. I tape on these. <laughs> um, what happened to Ken Cole? I don't, he doesn't come over to my channel anymore. Uh, Who's Mark around Hardman. Him? Not over here. Uh, Mark Hardman offered. Okay, Tommy, I don't know. It seems it seems like a lot of money for two beers. Why don't you just buy them a la carte? Because um, I don't like doing anything a la carte. No rather just knock it out it's a lot okay knock it out then and then you can get me um okay tampa b is doing it too really barbara you don't drink that much either i'm kind of surprised you guys are going to throw out 500 dollars. i would much rather go shopping with that money um well i'm probably okay. going to shop too you what i'm probably going to shop too how many times am i how many times am i going to uh brings tommy to the boat yard <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, that's freaking great. Uh, I think there are okay. a number of people who are willing to uh, hook you up with coffees, Reese. There you go. Okay, I just guys, I don't drink, but Tommy, if you're gonna get the package, I'll just I'll just get your package. I'll just use your package. So you want so, my package? Yeah, I will get the drinks off. Of, I'll get use the coffee, and then maybe you could get me a um like a virgin um what are those. What's this that song named after? Pina awful. Colada. Pina Colada. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident that uh, my package. <laughs> yeah, no, I could do that. Oh, Lord. You think it's, it's fine uh, if I can use your package? My package in Virgin uh, anything. <laughs> it's been a long time, but yeah, we could probably work that. Um, Barbara, I said yes, girl. I'm going to be using yours, Tommy's, and Mark Hardman's. I just, guys, to I just use want Tommy's to those... package. I think you're supposed to go, laugh. you know, there, there needs to be like a laugh after that, right? Like the nah, nah kind of a thing. It just sounds like yes. something you would have said in, in middle school. Absolutely. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> there you go. Um, uh, I definitely will be drinking off of everybody's drink package. I'm going to be a freeloader on the coffees. I would like 
frappuccinos. I'm going to need that. So my package, it's not, it, it's nothing personal then. You just, you're after every package on the cruise. Probably should have mentioned that before you asked me to the prom. Ramp. She's, she's aiming just to be saying. as out exchange with as many people as possible. Yeah. <laughs> just, just I, seems to, yeah. Oh, I'm I delivering the package. It. Trust and believe Tampa Bay. I'm when package. I asked you to the prom, uh -huh. no take backs. So if you're trying okay. to get out of it. No, no, that's not what I was it. trying to do. That's not what I was trying to do. I just feel like, you know, I didn't, I, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't fully disclosed. This whole everybody's package is mine thing before you invited me. To that is so sad. Artsy Tartsy. Do you know how many people have sent me jewelry? I actually do wear it, girl. It's just a lot. I got it from Ken Cole. I got jewelry from Linda Perales. I've gotten a lot. She wants her options opened. You do yeah, see I, she, I absolutely am grateful and I love your, your jewelry, babe. So please, please don't feel that way. That makes me feel kind of sad. Uh, calm down, Tommy. Yeah, Tommy, chill it. Chill it. It's a good thing Reese doesn't drink. The boat might start rocking. There will Is be that because rocking. I exceed the weight limit? What does that mean? You're right, Hef. Don't think that hasn't occurred to me. Don't think that hasn't occurred to me. She's shopping for somebody 75. I'm on to her. There's probably going to be a lot of those there too, huh? Yes. Do you think they're going to be into me? Yeah, they're going to be into you. There's no question. Yeah, Tampa B got me a necklace. Actually, Barbara, I have worn it. Um, and she got me a, a bracelet. Guys, I don't think you realize how much jewelry I have. It's nothing personal. I have worn it. It's just I switch up my jewelry a lot. All this that I'm wearing today, I haven't worn in quite a while. So I just have a lot. What are you doing? You're doing this quiet coyote thing that Huxley's school did when he was in kindergarten. When all the kids would get loud, the, the principal would go, quiet coyote. Shh, quiet coyote. What are you doing? Did that I'm work? raising my hand because I would like to speak. Okay. Well, then just say it, girl. Speak it up. Speak your truth. <laughs> Somebody asked uh, in the chat over there uh, if the prices that they were quoted, I think it was Little Flower. Asked Anita, price, yes, I do. If the Go prices on. they were quoted uh, included the drink package. No, they do not. But if you email me for a quote and you tell me what kind of cabin you want and how many people you want to put in that cabin, I can quote you the price and then I can also tell you what the drink package would be. Just know that all of the adults in the cabin over the age of 21 have to purchase the drink package if you're going to do that. All I want to know is, is that I can freeload off of Tommy. I could probably get on it. Providing you play with my package. You got a free I off. knew there was a catch. I knew There's there was going to be a catch. Catch. package to get used. Yeah. Don't leave Tommy holding his package while you're flirting with the olds. Just saying. Probably not such a great idea. So what you're saying is I shouldn't use your package to get a coffee and then go flirt with a 90-year-old. Booyah. That will hurt if your you feelings. That would probably bug me out just a little bit. Fine. Yeah, I'll use Tampa B's about. package. What is the price for this cruise and roommate situation? Seriously, I, Diana says. I see you, Diana. And if you drop me an email, which Third Eye Open has just uh, popped into the chat, drop me an email and I'll let you know. Um, it the, the price varies from inside cabin to ocean view cabin to balcony cabin small balcony extended balcony like there's a lot of options tommy's what are we balcony. getting tommy what what are we getting cricket what did tommy and i get you got cove balconies that's right you know what that's about little, little cove balconies um are there teens kind of hope not no, there that? are some people who are in their 20s. In our group? One person is bringing her uh, early 20s children along, and those awesome. children are bringing uh, partners. Very cool. Okay. I just, uh, like somebody asked me if I was going to bring Huxley, and that's an absolute no. 
Yeah. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of teenagers or children on board, honestly, because the ship is departing after the school year, so soon after the school year begins that people aren't going to want to take their kids out of school for eight days that close right. to the beginning of the school year. Yeah, that's why I'm not bringing them. That was calculated on my part. Not going to lie. Smart. I like kids. Okay. You do Barbecue. like kids. Barbecue, preferably. No, I'm kidding. Okay. I do like kids. Yeah. Hansel and Gretel style. Okay. Well, um, what else can you tell us? You do have to have a passport. I I strongly recommend it. Yes. When is the actual it. deadline? Like when are when are when is it where you can't come at this point? Like what do we get creeping up on? Uh probably about two days before we set sail. People can what? still book. It's just that the price is gonna keep going up. Um, you know, so if you wanna go. You can still go. You can absolutely still book. Just get in touch with me because once the availability is gone, once the inventory God, it's is 11 o'clock out of here, then that's just how it go. Don, do not be sorry that you're bringing your child. I think that's amazing. I just don't Stop want to bring it. mine. Yeah. yeah don't we, be silly. Don't even apologize. Oh, I just... Gee. Absolutely what I think ridiculous. of is like a bunch of like 13 year olds running around, which I wouldn't even really care. It's not going to affect me. I mean, and I'm with Tommy. I like kids. I just don't want to, I don't want to pull Huxley out of school. I don't want to do all that. You guys all know Huxley. He's amazing. If this was during the summer, I would bring him. I would bring him. Huxley's super mature. He would hang with the rest of us. He would love it. But, uh, yeah, no. Bring your daughter. I think that's awesome. I think she'll have a blast. Gloves. There is a teen club on board um, Night where club. they're grouped in with teenagers of their of similar ages. So they can do like nightclub kind of stuff, but it's going to be safe and the whole nine. That's going to happen. Also, for people who are in recovery, there is an AA and an NA meeting every single day on the ship. Awesome. Wow. Hey, SM, send me a list. Cool. SM, send me a list of all of those films made in World War II showing Nazis that were filmed during World War II. I'd love to discuss this with you, but we won't do it here because of the delay. But send me an email. It's a favorite topic of mine. So send me an email. I'd love that. Please. And but yes, note, there is there is a meeting every single day on the ship. If you want to do eight that. and eight, you can do that. That's yep, actually that. really cool. I think that's Isn't really it? cool. Isn't it? Like, I yeah. That's, is that's, that, that's is that common awesome. for cruise ships? Yep. Sure is. Yeah, I I've ever been love on. that. Yep, I had no idea. I love about it. I yep. think that is the coolest thing I've ever heard. That's amazing. I, I love that. I do too. That was very wow. Cool. Yeah. It's, it's pretty rad. That is yep. rad. Uh, um, we're going to sign off in a minute, guys, because I, I'm getting tired. I know that my ovary, remember what happened? <laughs> yeah. Wearing me down. Um, uh, my okay. You fine. can't but I am tired. Yours is good. Yeah. Well, I can tell you my prostate feels good. So we're good there. Um, I can say no drugs. You cannot bring pot gummies, right? You do need gummies. To gummies. You might be able to sneak on board. Here's the thing. It's, it's not so much getting them on the ship. It's getting them through TSA. So if you're flying to Florida, it's going to be a lot more difficult getting stuff. Did you just say yesterday. Florida? Yes. Do you say Missouri? No. What do you say? <laughs> what state do I live in? Do it. Say it. You live in Missouri. Okay. Okay. That was interesting. You said Florida. Florida. Yeah. Do you say bag instead of bag? No, I say bag. Interesting. Okay, you know my boss Abby lives. She's from Minnesota. Minnesota. Go on. Yeah, you bet. Minnesota I, for sure. You betcha. Ufta. All that shit. I'm, yeah, I can drop into that accent when I need to. But what you think? Sandy McKenna's the only person who ever lived in New York. Sandy McKenna. I'm taking pictures for the photo album. For the photo album. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Go I. On. I I got my very first big girl all by myself apartment in at age 21 in the Bronx. Good Lord. Wow. Good for you. I've lived in the Bronx, Jersey, Brooklyn, Pensy, 
I'm 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 an East Coast girl in my heart. East Coast. Okay. 100%. Well, I say Florida. I say Florida. I don't even do the I. Florida. Flor Good. Florida. 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 Interesting. Go yeah. on. You were saying. Yeah, that stuff you drink in the morning, coffee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If if Hux had been a girl, that would be your daughter. True, true. And and one of the mods is Miss Sunrise Dawn. Sometimes my boyfriend talks like that. Oh, mm. squirrely squirrel. There's the pretty girl. Like that. When I'm Are really you getting tired, tired? Sometimes. When I'm really tired, sometimes it goes out a little bit. Yeah, I gotta I gotta yeah. uh, I gotta hit it. Yeah, right. All right. But Go yeah, if if anybody wants more information about the cruise, please email me. It's it's chowyunsmut at gmail.com. Or you can just uh you can hang out. Uh, I go live on my channel at like 1 a.m. Central. I tend to stay there for about two hours. Um, we sing the Night Med song. We sing the Zeno Marlene song to the tune of Ave Maria, no less. Um, and, uh, and we talk about all kinds of stuff. So you're welcome to swing by my channel or drop me an email. I'm here to answer all of your questions. And and guys, this won't be the last time we have her on. We'll do this probably about once a month up to the cruise. So cricket, this won't okay. be it. And I'll continue to promote it. Tommy, I know you're tired. Go ahead and go to bed. And um, uh, Yeah, I just saw East Islip, East Islip, Long Island. I got, uh, we still have family in uh, in Islip. That's really, really funny. All right, everybody. That's the cat. Night. And I will see you all on the next one. Okay, bye. bye, -bye. Um, all right. I'm going to no, go to you. It's the right, the wrong thing. No one knows. That is so weird how he closes out. <laughs> it's so weird. I've never seen anybody close out like that. It's bizarre. That was a mess. Yeah, it's a real mess. We'll have to talk about that sometime. Okay, I'm going to go too because I'm really tired. It just hit me. But um, let's do this again probably in about four or five weeks. And uh, we'll just chat about it every time. But I sure love you. I love you right back, honey. You're awfully cute. Aw. I, I love your I, shirt and your boobs. And thank you I for the boob I did this just for you, just because I, it's and I so put cute. on makeup and everything. I put on eye makeup. Don't think I didn't notice. You're looking all cute over there. I see it. Tommy saw it. I did that it. because we all see I, wanted, I wanted to be half as cute as you. Okay, well, you're way cuter. Look how shiny I am. You look like <laughs> a slug. Um, You look like a fraggle rock. I really love that about you. Um, okay. Well then guys go over and follow cricket. Her channel is chow yun smut and you're going to be on here in like two hours, right? Yes, ma'am. I wish I could tune in. I can't do it. I'm so sorry. My ovary exploded today and I just got to get her some rest. Honestly, my eggs are fat and spiky. So I understand because I feel it every time one of them claws its way out of my ovary. But today um, is my seventh anniversary of no longer having a uterus. Oh, wow. Good for you. Yeah. Best decision I ever made for myself was. Uterus. Everybody tells me that who had it removed. They're like, my doctor was like, that was my 40th birthday gift to myself. I was like, I can't do it. That frightens I've my I've never whole... been happier in my life. That makes my b-hole pucker, but um, no, good for you. It's and amazing. Cool. I dance down the aisle in Target now where all of the Femage products are sold. And I'm like, look at all the shit I don't ever have to buy again. It's well, amazing. In all fairness, I use a cup, so I don't That's have to true. buy it. That's true. I was going to get you a little box, a little accessories box for the back of your toilet that says Shark Week, and it's made for the I feminine supplies. I want supplies. that. Yes, because I do, I do still use tampons. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, well, I, yeah, I use yeah. tampons. Then I will order that for you. I really want one of those. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll get it. It's it, is, it is free rain virus being uterus free is being truly free. I would do it. I'm just too scared. It, you know what? It's amazing. I've, I've never been happier. It's the best decision I ever made for myself. Mm -hmm. And um, I can wear all the cute underpants I want and never have to worry about them getting a stain. And you can bone all around town and not have to worry about getting getting the knocked up you damn right I, mean, I can you're, you're still gonna get chlamydia for sure which it's curable i mean whatever well but, you know um, as long as you are safe about it then generally you won't but also um the scarring is really minimal 
Okay, that's good. We can stop really there. Really minimal, down. like extremely. You you have a larger scar from from your C section than you would from from this because they're amazing these days. You're scaring my ovary again. Okay. All right. Well, um, this was good, and I love you. And I love uh, you. I'm gonna sign off. And uh, I might go eat a couple of Cheetos, though. I don't know. Or maybe a piece of cheese or something. I'm feeling that. But then I got to hop right in because I'm tired. and turn my heating pad on. You know how that Have goes. Have a whole fistful of Cheetos, girl. Treat yourself. I, I think I will. I think the you flame should. The flaming hot kind. I'll get it. Yeah, I'm going to get it pretty good. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to just uh, say good night now. Okay. Good night. Love you, Fraggle Rock. Have a good show. Thank you. Love you. And uh, guys, I'm going to just end I'm going to just end the stream. Is that okay? He missed tampon talk. I know. Darn it. He was tired. Poor little, I'm sure he's sad guy. about that. Yeah, I'm sure he is. Okay. Bye guys. I'll be back on tomorrow and I'll see you then. All right, Cricky. Love you, girl. Bye. Love you back. Bye.